started for Pokemon Emerald. It's going to be great. Uh, we have $100 from Jaycopter that says, Pokemon Emerald was my first Pokemon game growing up. I naturally picked Mudkip and has always picked water since. Uh, awesome to see a game so important to me played at GDQ. I agree. And I believe it is time for us to begin. Amoeba, take it away. Thanks very much. Um, we're going to get straight into it. There's no messing about. We need to go do some speed runs. So yeah. if you're ready on time, three, two, one, go. So hi, I'm Amoeba. We're going to be doing Pokemon Emerald glitches today. Uh, joining me on commentary, I have the very talented Shiru and Kurt. Do you want to say hello, guys? Hello. Hi. So Shiru is the current record holder for this run and has been for three years now? Two and a half. Two and a half, not that we're counting. I've tried my best to try and beat it, but it's a very, very well-optimized run. Kurt, on... Not on the other hand, because that sounds like you're really bad. <laughs> Kurt, yeah, is a brand new... <laughs> Kurt is a brand new runner to Emerald, um, like fresh blood to the scene, because Shiru is a fairly old guy in the scene, and I'm a, just a fairly old guy in general. So, Kurt's exciting new blood, yep. who's done really well in the game recently. So I'm super happy I've got both of them for commentary. I'm basically an Emerald happy to be here. What the GameCube's in the back for? I repair them. I totally didn't arrange them there, like, in preparation for this run. That looks cool, actually. I didn't <laughs> notice that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be doing glitchless. The reason for that is there are speedrun useful glitches in this game, but they are trash. Um, <laughs> they only skip... A, well, they skip about half the game, but well, they're that inconsistent. They're trying to do them... Well, not even... It's not even inconsistent skill-wise, it's like RNG inconsistency. I think we definitely have that. And just makes the run a nightmare. And Glitchless is more interesting, we get to do more movement tech, we get to do more, like, adaption and uh, battle tech and RNG minute. Which segues quite nicely into the very first thing I'm going to be doing in the run. Um, we need to manipulate a good mudkip. Needs good attack, good special attack, good speed, reasonable defences. And unfortunately, this is kind of a rough thing to start the runoff with, it is a frame-perfect manip, and this game runs at 60 FPS, so this may not be a first try kind of thing, I really hope it is, but it's the major hurdle to get past to get into this game. There is really no alternative to it, we have to hit this mudkip, because the entire route is built around the stats that you get from this. So I'm mostly going to hand over to the commentary guys for this because I need to pay attention to my timing and try and get the inputs perfectly. It That's is right. literally frame perfect. Yep, this is actually 1 60th of a second, which is not easy to accomplish. Uh, I do want to remind you, maybe that you didn't get the potion, so maybe you want to save for... Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> just for movement purposes, it does matter for Manips as well. You may as well yeah. tell the runner, be a good pal, really. Thank you. So yeah, this is 160 of a second, tough to get. Hopefully he does. I feel pretty good about that. Fingers crossed. The thing zoom has to be male, which is the case, maybe? It's all looking good so okay. far. Nah, one frame that's early. One, that's one from early, yep. He needs that's to use shame. tackle, otherwise it's not the naughty if everything was executed properly. Uh, might be late. Not late. Okay, hopefully. That's it. Nice, nice. second try, very good. Yeah. So I'd have been happy with anything below four tries, so second's very nice. Yeah, and the other reason we want tackle instead of growl is uh, we can extend here into no encounters through the right. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's hope I don't mess this up. So yeah, that is the big hurdle for this uh, this run to get going. Second try is really good. We'll take that. I'm going to name my mudkip one letter here. I'm, oops. Oh, no. <laughs> what happened there? Oh, no extended. So, <laughs> I was supposed to name it. I was going to name it G, and I think I caught the select button. So, unfortunately, we can't extend the minute. Um, have I not messed up the name? 
which is an interesting way to do it, I would have been encounterless until Rival 1. Okay, we still so might be. going to get punished. We're, we're going to get yeah. lucky. This is the GDQ <laughs> luck. <laughs> yeah. Um, why be good when you can be lucky? Exactly. So we can actually die to Rival 1 here. I was not lucky, unfortunate. <laughs> so I am going to save because... We can't. Aff we can kind of deal with the time loss of dying, but we can't afford it money-wise. It's going to screw our money route. Okay, one encounter is not the end of the world. It was just a pusher. It's fine. Yeah. So reset. Very rude. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a ton to talk about. I didn't save, did I? You did not. Save. Saying all of that. <laughs> no, we're just not going to die. It's fine. This yeah, is well, you're very unlikely anyway. to die here unless you get <laughs> double crit or something crazy. Yeah. Two crits or two misses. Double Leah makes this scarier. Because <laughs> if I get double crit or double misses now, it's just We're just making hurt. it more exciting for everyone. Yeah. It's content. Smile. There's the crit. Oh, Don't my. miss. Bye. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's Jesus. just fun to I had to make this. I had to make this more difficult for myself, didn't I? God. Right, we have um, we have a pretty bad. Can I, I can go for mum heal, can't I? If I yeah, you need I to can. save steps after, right? Yeah, but. yeah, but I can do that the same way as I normally do. If I was doing potion, it's no different. Is it the same steps? Uh, it's enough. Yeah, it'll be fine. So we're mentioning saving steps, and that's because of uh, RNG manipulations coming later. Um, step count rollover affects uh, RNG calls. Um, yeah, so there's it, the game checks if every 128 steps it adds a random amount of happiness to your party Pokemon. And if you happen to get that roll in the middle of an RNG minute when you're not expecting to get it, it will ruin the entire minute. And we have two more minutes to do, although one of them won't rely on that at all. <laughs> no, this is fun. We're making it exciting. I mean, it's content. So it's a good time actually to talk about because um, I think Pokemon speedruns sometimes get a bit of a bad rep. Maybe RPG speedruns in general because of the heavy RNG factor. And while it is a factor in these games, um, I think the misconception comes from people expecting us to need good luck. We don't actually ever really need good luck. We just need to avoid bad luck. Um, like the entire route is based around trying to avoid the worst possible situations. And that's, in certain fights, we're going to end up with a lot more bad potential situations rather than uh, very few. But we never actually need to get really, really lucky. The absolute worst chance to survive any fight in this game is 78%. And that's one fight. I'm going to take the safety heal here. It means I don't have to uh, save before Calvin. And, yeah, the primary... So the primary thing is we're trying to avoid any bad luck that we can whatsoever. Now I can't manip encounters here. These are legitimate encounters. Can't do anything about these. Um, hello, Wormpole. Yes, hello, Wormpole. But so, yeah, the the fun of a Pokemon run and the skill of it is the ability to have or the ability to retain knowledge and have a good knowledge base of what scenarios can occur and how to adapt to them. So adaption and knowledge is key. And I think I can talk from a fairly unique perspective because I've run Pokemon, which is heavily RNG based, and I've run Monkey Ball, which has no RNG in it whatsoever, both at a top level. And it's no easier to run Pokemon. It's just a different skill set. So if you're watching at home right now and you're thinking, oh, wow, it's, this one's got a lot of RNG in, RNG in it, we hope that Amoeba gets good luck. Don't. What you actually want to make this run entertaining is for me to get the worst look possible. Because then you're going to have to watch me try and figure out what to fix, like how to get it back onto the route that I want to do. If everything goes really well, I'm just going to be following a flowchart, which is fun because it's still got really good movement, but you want things to go bad. Like you want things to go a little bit dodgy. So if you're sending in donations now, wishing me good luck, don't wish me bad luck. I want to see lots of donations where you're telling me that you hope that the run sucks. That's my idea. I hope your run sucks, Amoeba. I hate you, sure. Well, <laughs> why? Because <laughs> you're always you bullying me. <laughs> you're always bullying me. You're always so mean. But you told me to do that. Oh, I've nearly got six potions. See, this, that's your fault as well. So, first market trip of the game, we need potions to stay alive and repels to no longer have encounters. 
because we're sick of encounters already. Thank you for the bad luck in chat. Oh, thank you, of course, not me. <laughs> no, not you, Shiro. I don't like you. We're also... <laughs> <laughs> We dipped into the uh, Pokemon Center there. That's uh, to yeah. set up something later. That's important for later. Please take notes. So uh, if you're not kind of catching on to the vibe of commentary here, despite the fact that Shiro and I have been running this game for longer and are older, we're both idiots. We're massive morons, and Kurt's basically here to babysit us to make sure that we don't get into trouble. So sorry, Kurt. Thank you, Kurt. Hey. <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm an idiot. Okay, so sure. we are <laughs> we're going into the Wally catching cutscene. Um, fun little fact about this: it is possible for Wally Zigzagoon to beat this round. So the fight's crit locked; you can't get crits, um, and the Zigzagoon will always tackle twice. But the attack stats—that's a really good roll. The, the stats, the natures of both the Zigzagoon and the routes are randomised. So if the Zigzagoon has a plus attack nature, good attack IV, and the routes has a minus defense nature and a bad defense IV, and it hits both tackles, and they both high roll, the routes can die. The actual odds of that in practice are like 1 in 200,000. Um, but if it does happen, which it didn't, um, you actually save time because Wally doesn't get to do this whole Pokeball thing. The fight just ends, and then Wally talks to you as if he actually caught the routes, which is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know of anyone who's actually ever seen that in a attempt, no. so... We've had a runner see a shiny route because it's, ra it's randomized same as any other encounter. It can be shiny as well. Shiny is way more likely though. <laughs> In a weird way, yeah. You ever said shinies are way more likely before? Yeah, it's rare, but I mean, it's always content whenever you see a shiny route. It's seen it die though. It has to be the overload of content. It saves so much time actually. It seems like 20 seconds. It is ridiculous. It's almost worth manipping if we could find a frame, but. Odds are we would have to wait for it for so long. Normally in standard runs here, I'd actually run around on the beach and not risk encounters in this grass because we can't repel for this specific section. But to line up the RNG for a minute later, I need to nip through here. And unfortunately, we got an encounter. You're relatively likely to get through without. That's a shame. Well, I guess it's bad luck, huh? Well, yeah, that's true. Oh no, I've got to adapt to one encounter. Oh, I don't need to potion because they mum healed. That's weird. And you need to save here. We're actually going to remember to save for this fight. We did it, guys. Good job. This one's much more important because uh, the fight coming up is uh, a pretty big reset point. Um, yes. This Puccina is uh, not a friend to uh, Emerald Runners. So it outlevels us by two levels. We five shot it, and it has sand attack. Accuracy in this game, or in this gen, is busted. Um, after one sand attack, our tackle drops from 95 to 72%, something ridiculous. And then after two, it's like a coin flip. Um, and he's gonna get at least four, well, he's, he might get three turns if we get a lucky crit. Who knows? Dying is actually relatively hard, but it, you can potentially be sat here for 15 turns rather than five. You're kind of jinxing yourself. That's, that's kind of the idea. Right, early tackles is good because he's not using sand attack. Yeah, that's like, that's good stuff. <laughs> I I see, myself. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> just hit. Uh, just hit. Smile. Okay. Ah, very right, nice. That was well, clean. Last crit, we got the it. Yeah, it's for content, <laughs> of course. So that is a very bad crit because we were going to kill it anyway. So we just waste two seconds sitting through a critical hit text, which is terrible. Well, that was pretty clean anyway. Yeah, we should talk about spinners. So yep. both of the bug catchers in this forest are spinners, which are trainers that will stand in one spot and randomly choose directions at random times. We can, however, use a combination of running. I'm just going to stop talking. There we go. <laughs> running, walking, uh, bagging, uh, going into the bag, opening the pause menu, and biking to guarantee that we can pass every spinner in this game. Um, I'm not going to go into the super technical details why it's a lot of um, maths about how often the spinners can spin and how quickly we move when we're doing individual movement. But the important things are that bike is fast and that running near them will attract their attention. So you can't run past them because they'll just look straight at you, but you can run near them to get them to look away. 
That's right. This Miller guy is very smart. I'm okay. Sure, do you run Sapphire. Do you want to talk about the Sapphire strat for this fight? Because we can't do it anymore. Okay, yeah, I can do that. So for Sapphire, you actually catch a Wingle uh, right before this fight, but you cannot do that in this game because then the twins on the bridge would see you. They do not see you in Sapphire, though. So what you do is you swap into Wingle, use Wargun, leave you do that like two, three, four HP, let the Wingle die just for in full honor, and then you mud slap it to death. The Jesus, of course, and then you win. You cannot do it in this game. And the only reason why is because double fights in this game, if you walk past them with two Pokemon in your party, they will fight you automatically. Whereas in Sapphire, you have to talk to them. Yeah. So unfortunately, that change, we have to sit through this long fight. That change was made intentionally to uh, infuriate us. Yes. It does Along with a certain hiker's view in Rust Earth Tunnel. <laughs> well, it does allow us for, the, for go, to go for the Chimanip, though, because if we just go for Wingle early, there's no Chimanip then. That's true. So we have Water Gun now, and it's probably a good time to talk about Torrent, which is Mudkip's ability. And the in-game description is, Oops, water moves in a pinch, which is useless. It doesn't tell you what it actually does. So if we're on or below a third of our maximum health, Water Gun's, uh, Water Gun, Water type moves will be one and a half times damage. This is going to be far more useful towards the end of the run when we can risk being at lower health, but there are certain occasions early on where we might want to use it here. What health am I going to be at? 21, not good enough. So I'm going to have to heal before Roxanne. Just as a reminder as well, I'll need to know the Abra nickname once we've beaten Roxanne. So that donation incentive will have to close once we're past this girl. You're not yep. going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw there was two that were fighting for the lead, and I'm curious if it's you or not. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently I'm winning, and I don't know why. <laughs> Congrats on winning. Yay! <laughs> so let me know if it changes, but I will be nicknaming it Edo Bean, if not. So that is the last optional fight we're actually going to do in this run. Uh, we fight every trainer in this gym because Geodudes are such a nice free experience. But that's it. Everything else from here will be mega optimized, hopefully. Unless I'm really bad at the game, which I kind of am. You're so no promises. Ah, I'm okay. There's You're like three people okay. that are better than me, which is not fair. <laughs> so, Roxanne. Geodudes are not an issue here, however the nose pass is not dual typing, it's just rock. So we don't do anywhere near as much damage. The maximum we can actually do to it is 20. Roxanne has two potions, which heal for 20. And also has an Ornament Berry on the nose pass, so this can go very, very slowly. Let's go fast instead of speed run. I'll try my best. I believe in you. Thanks, Dad. I'm not your... <laughs> <laughs> so, the nose passes go into Rock Tomb Turn 1 because we outspeed. Um, this is the first trainer that we fight that has smart AI. So it will intentionally, smart in quotes, we can actually abuse it later on. Um, but it will intentionally use good moves, or what it thinks is good moves. So it will use Rock Tomb initially to lower our speed. A crit here is amazing because it would skip Magic all crit. the Oran Berries and Potions. Nice mess. That's a well, safe this is going to be very yeah. safe. <laughs> Crit here would work too. Okay, never lucky. So there's the rock team. Now it will tackle because tackle is more accurate and we are slower than it now. Yeah, um, the game treats rock team as if it was scary face or string shot. Once you are slower than your opponent, your opponent will no longer use rock team. It doesn't treat it as a damaging move unless it kills. We should talk about uh, damage rolls as well. So the game, so if, when smart AI is in effect, they will check to see if a move kills you, and if it does, they will use that move. Um, but the way, so every move in this game has a damage roll, the, the range of damage that it can do. And the way the game checks to see whether it's going to use the move or not is it will simulate a damage roll, and then if that damage roll kills, it will use the move. Which means you could end up in a weird scenario where you, the opponent, well, the, the AI decides that, oh, this move kills, so I'm going to use it, and then the actual roll that they get for the actual 
move that they use is lower and they don't kill. So sometimes you'll randomly see Rock Tomb there at like 16 HP and then you'll live at one and it'd be like, cool. So the prediction rolled that it would kill and the actual roll didn't. Second RNG minute of the game coming right up and it's a bit of a difficult one. Yes, yeah, so this is actually a new nip that Amoeba put a lot of work into creating. Um, we had chain Abra into Talo before, and this new one is chain Talo into Abra. Yep, very yeah. straightforward. It's it's uh, quite a bit of frames where you can find Talos and Abras. You start with Talo, and then you chain that Talo into an Abra. We hopefully will see you here. So sorry, you're not going to get much commentary out of me on this. <laughs> Need to concentrate. That's the Taylor. That's Taylor, level six. We're going to your level in then. That's a beautiful burb. You are beautiful. Thank you. Now we're going to see we some uh, funky movement. Yep, to manipulate the RNG. That's a good one. Please be an Abra. <laughs> Please, hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's an Abra. Right, that one's the one I'm most confident about catching. So if this pops, I'm a sad boy. Happy boy instead. That's right. First and try, baby. Cool. Easy, so, easy. Oh, I'm boy. really, I'm going to be slightly smug on this now because, uh, oh yeah, EW. Yeah, it's me, e -D -O -B. Is it capital B? B no, just regular. B E A N I O. I spat my H. I'm not the Edo B. I'm not the Edo B. I'm the Edo B. Blah. Very nice. Okay. Blah. <laughs> we I'm can blah. fix this. We have the technology. We it's are, fine. Are you sure? You don't have <laughs> <Yes>. to. <laughs> I just can't believe I can't read. Oh, oh no. It's okay. Don't worry. Maybe you don't this need is, to be smart for the speed this, running. You just maybe need this to... is the bad luck thing that <laughs> supposed to help you, right? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should change your name now, I know. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, you're now Edo B. Uh, my new name. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm really sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Don't feel bad. <laughs> but th oh. thank you, uh, viewers, for donating for that. <laughs> I don't know why. But... <laughs> um, I'm a Pokemon now. Yay. <laughs> if you want to name another Pokemon, we have another incentive open for another... How long have we got? An hour and 40 yet. Oh, where am I going? Alright, so here we save uh, Pico from this Aqua Grunt. And uh, this Aqua Grunt, um, we can one-shot him if we're in Torrent, but unfortunately we are not. And he has Sand Attack, so hopefully... Yeah. I've well. never been... Ma oh, I'm gonna jinx myself now. I've never been massively trolled by this guy. He only gets one turn. Yeah, yeah, I think fine. that makes one of us. <laughs> Am I the only one, though? Nice turn two crit again. Yeah, this is a classic, really, with Pichianos. You just well, last turn crit him. So, you like today heavily. We have some... Uh, <laughs> we have some cutscene admin to do now. We aren't really going to be playing much of the game. The only thing to pay attention to here immediately is that there's going to be a spinner that I'm going to do a bit of weird movement. I'm going to walk, like, two tiles before her and then pause. The basic premise is that we set it up so that she can only spin. She gets one opportunity to spin, and if she doesn't spin, the pass that we go past her is completely safe. So hopefully. Thank you, Cameron. So she is a spinner, I promise. He's not. He's a, what do we call them? Rotators? Rotator. Yeah. So Fake he's spinner. like a spinner, but his path is set. He will always like follow a specific up, down, left, right. Yeah, unless you run near him, in which case he'll, yeah. he'll look towards you. So now we're going to get the Pokinav. It's going to be upgraded to be a phone. And then Mr. Devon's going to tell us to deliver a letter to his son and a parcel to a dude at Slateport. Bear in mind that Mr. Stone is the literal inventor of the mobile telephone in this universe. And he's going to get us to deliver a letter to his son. He's, Just call your son. He's Steven Jobs. 
Yeah. <laughs> and his, his son actually has a phone for sure because he registers <laughs> you when you talk to him. <laughs> you give him the letter and he's like, oh, thanks. I'll add you to my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's funny because whenever you talk to any trainer, really, or some trainers, and every regime, really, they already have that phone. It's like it's a conspiracy against you. Everybody has a phone already, but you've, it's been hidden from you this whole time. Other than Roxanne, and she doesn't mention it. Wow. Like, she's like, oh, if you've not got a phone, then I'm just not going to mention it. You should go get a phone. <laughs> you're, not a, you're not worth it. <laughs> wow, okay. So now we're going to so, use Abro for the first time. Yeah. Um, you remember Kurt mentioned when we got into Petalburg City the first time? Is it Petalburg City or town? I think it's city. City. Yeah, we walked into the center and then just left. Um, that's because I like Nurse Joy and I just wanted to say hello. No, it's to set a teleport point at Petalburg so that once we're done, hello EWB. Once we're done here, we don't have to walk back. We can just teleport straight back. And conveniently, it puts us closer to the market because we need to get some buff items. Yay, help. At the moment, we just have potions and repels. And there's some difficult fights coming up, so... Three attacks, two speeds. Attack and we need items. some more repels. The cornerstone of Pokemon speedrunning. Yes. That Nobody ever used them when they were kids. <laughs> I think I bought them once, used them in a fight, then realized that they only last for the fight and never bought them again. <laughs> it's like, well, what's the point? These items are useless. Yeah, I'd rather just grind my Pokemon to level 100. Exactly. Like a real man. Exactly. <laughs> so very, very important here that we press B. This is rival 1.5. Fighting him is a death wish. There's no need. We don't need the experience. Funnily enough, we're going to be a coward two times in a row because we're not going to fight uh, Brawly and Duford either. You're a coward. Thank you. <laughs> well, they still like you. Thank you. So, yeah, we're off to Duford. Um, the, I presume the developer's intention here was that you were to beat Brawly to get access to Flash to be able to navigate your way through Granite Cave, which was a little bit short-sighted because if you remember the path through Granite Cave, you don't need Flash. Uh, Amoeba. So uh, Shiru, hello. I, I have a question. I, I may be able to answer. Our boat was going at 10,000 miles per hour there and it just stopped <laughs> for our father's call. Like, can you explain that? Yeah, so I can't, no. the phone has magical powers in this game. Um, Stephen Jobs at it again. Let's go. Yeah. I'm liking this trend of Stephen Jobs. <laughs> so we're going to grab the escape rope here. Uh, this is literally for this cave. It's faster to grab this and use it later than to walk out. But yeah, just memorize the path. Don't walk into the walls, because you look like a silly billy. Uh, I slightly messed up that movement. Nobody saw that. It's fine. It's dark. I Unfortunately, did. we have plenty of repel Ish. steps here. Yeah. Might be a good time for some donations, because we're, we're going to sit through another boating cutscene after this. No problem. We have a $20 donation from Sizzle that says, Bad luck for content amoeba. Here's hoping to get crit in the worst possible scenario. Thanks, Sizzle. And then we have a $250 donation from Curry that says, I made a donation earlier wishing amoeba good luck. I take it back. I hope this run goes horribly <laughs> wrong. We need to see the strats. <laughs> that is the spirit. That's the good stuff. So yeah, we are done with Granite Cave and we're done with Duford. We're not going to fight Broly. We don't need to. Um, this fight is, well, if we were to do it now, it would be awful. Massively underleveled. He has a ridiculously good team for this point in the run. And we gain no benefit from the experience either. Um, Sapphire actually fights Broly here due to a load of different factors. Um, it, it, yeah, it's about the fact that you fight so many less trainers in Sapphire. Yeah. that you will be very on the level for level too. Also, like Brawly, just... Okay, let this... Just think about this, okay? Come on, sure, you can do it. Yes, I'm trying my best to put words in my mouth. I believe in you. And it's tough, okay? Anyway, what I was going to say is that his Metatite has a 150 power base move. And he's the second gym. Yeah. Focus punch is ridiculous. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. So we just got soft sand from a little girl on the beach. I don't know why we needed a little girl to pass us sand. We are on a beach, but there we go. 
and that's going to be quite useful because once we get this next level up, we're going to get mud shot and our ground type in general. I just realised that I named this mudkip Dot. Mudshot pretty much carries us through the first half of the run. Yeah. It is slightly annoying in a way. Um, mudshot is 95% accurate, the same as tackle. So, and if you're using a mudshot, you probably need to hit the mudshot. So there are certain scenarios where a miss is catastrophic and it feels frustrating if you get it because it's only a 5% chance. I think it's very good at this game. Sherlock sure, like is going to hit. All of them. Every one of them. There won't be a single miss. Uh, don't disappoint me now. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to get bad luck. We've got to entertain the people. Oh. This fish sucks. So we have to three hit it. Two of the tackles are going to get rough skin text. He has focus energy, which is not great, and bite, which normally does about half of our health. and. When he's got focus energy up, if it crits, it can do all of it. Please don't do it. I hate you. Uh-oh. Oh, my. I outsped. We're fine. Oh, mama. <laughs> Wowee. OK, well, that was yeah. intense. <laughs> that was something. Um, so we are speed tied with that fish. I actually outsped on every turn, which is very nice. But we are speed tied. There was a 50-50 chance that he outsped me there, and I was dead to... I was probably dead to rage as well, wasn't I? We picked up a revive on the beach, it's fine. Yeah, and that was a 1 in 8 crit because he uh, set up a focus energy. Yeah. Oh, where's the name rater? It's in this town, isn't it? Is he in the battle tent or something? No, I have no clue. Quick, somebody Google it. I'm not a, I'm not a filthy casual. Uh, we need to fix Edo B. <laughs> we need to fix me. <laughs> I'm, I'm defected. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Quick, somebody in the chat, help the speedrunner. <laughs> I have GDQ chat open, let me know. So now we have Mudshot. Pretty sure he's and in a house on the left side of Sleepport, but... I think he is too. I think it's the battle tent, but I could be wrong. It could be and the He's the not the in the battle house. tent itself, but he's like below. Uh, There's like a sign in front of his house. Maybe. But yeah, now we have good old Mudshot. This is going to be our primary damage dealing move for... Next 40 minutes or so. Thank you for not missing that one, because the Carvana could have killed me. There's nothing to fix. Are we leaving Edo B? Okay. I, I think, think so. I think the people like Edo B. Oh, <laughs> the people have no. spoken. <laughs> <laughs> we can fix it after the run if we need to. We've got some stuff to do, don't worry. Everyone's just saying to keep it. They want to keep it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You can't fix what ain't broken. So, we've just scared off, what's his name, Archie, we don't even know his name. An actual no mob boss, for the scared off yeah. by an 11 year old. He does come in and call his men simps as well, so banned from Twitch, unfortunately. And, wow, <laughs> we're going to have a very difficult fight coming up soon-ish. Um, probably the most notorious Emerald fight. Rival 2 is terrible. It's not, no. Uh, Scott's going to interrupt us. We don't, uh, we don't like Scott. It's just a time waste. Sure. It feels great. <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did you want me to answer that? <laughs> like, what, what am I meant to do with that setup? <laughs> I feel okay. Feels fine. <laughs> So, we equipped the soft sand earlier, and primarily for these fights, the minions would be rangers. Um, they could still be rangers if both of these guys growl, which sucks. Okay, we got a quick attack, we're fine. So, the rest of these all die, nice and easy to mudshot. But Rival yeah, 2 is lurking that. around the corner. And Rival 2 has a Grovar, and when you're water ground, we really don't like grass types. We especially don't like fast grass types, which Grovar is. So the basic premise of that fight is we're going to set up two X attacks and an X speed. Two X attacks will allow us to two shot the Grovar, and the X speed won't allow us to outspeed it on the first turn, but that's intentional. So on the first turn, it will absorb, and because it outspeeds us, it won't gain any more health back because it's already at full health. We'll then mud shot it. That will lower its speed and then we outspeed it. However, 
there's a lot of ifs, ands, and buts in this fight. Um, we need to not miss the mud shot. We need to then not miss the tackle that we use afterwards. We need to not get crit by absorb. We need to not get double burned by the lead slugma. Etc. Etc. There's lots of ways to die to this fight. You can even get crit by the window right at the end. <laughs> yeah. I, that's the worst one because you pass all the things that look difficult, and then the wingle's like, "Yeah, no." Back in your hole. We set this run. It's very so tough we, when that happens. Because we have to set up X. I was I lost that train of thought completely. Because we have to set up X items, we're going to have to save here because I can't risk running. I can't risk dying here. The the money loss would suck, and the fact that we'd have to go and buy more items would also suck. We're gonna see this movement again that he did for a spinner before. He's gonna pause here just to see if he spins. If not, he's the safe pass. There you go. That one's the worst one because you get a turn frame straight after pausing. So you only have a seven frame window to actually do that properly. Although you are like only one in eight to get caught if you don't do it properly. So you don't always know. Thankfully, you are good at the video game. <laughs> Unless somebody frame counts and it turns out I messed it up and just got lucky. That'd be funny. Here we go. So this Slugma has Ember and Yawn. Ember can burn, which is really bad if you want to use physical moves, because it lowers your attack. Yawn is fine. We can't get burned if we're asleep. Do I go for this if he gives me the third Ember? I'm like two thirds to survive. <laughs> Do I go for this? No, I don't. I don't think, I think I'm probably gonna die. Yeah. If I get Yawn, then it's a bit of time loss and it sucks. Wow, four Embers, don't burn me. <laughs> that is insanely interesting. Yeah. Well, so <laughs> not getting, we promise you, not getting put to sleep at all here is actually pretty much the quickest version. Um, yeah. The, ch the chance of getting burned unlikely. in that situation is pretty high, but um, fortunately that didn't happen. Don't crit me. Thank you. Don't miss. Okay. That's part one. Part two. Okay. Last but not least, part three. <laughs> Don't miss again. Okay. Ah, speed running. We can't die to a crit from the wingle of this health. However, I can miss the tackle that I'm about to use, and then that creates issues. Maybe. Okay, now we're safe. I don't think I can die. Maybe I can with the max roll crit. Yeah, that would have killed if it crit. Okay. Thanks, wingle. And that's funny. So. <laughs> scary. That was a pretty good uh, fight overall. Really can't complain. No, that's so far. That's good. There's a lot of people talking about any percent in the chat. You could donate as much as you want. I have already gone past the point where I can set up any percent. I've unfortunately got to do glitches. And you tr please, please trust me as like a significant runner of any percent. You don't want to see any percent. It's terrible. Yeah, it's <laughs> it a would mess. Be, uh, it'd be grinding for a one in 32 glitch for potentially hours. It's awful. Unless your name is Wave Warrior, then you just hit it first oh, yeah. try. The first try on your first run, get world record, and leave. Not that any of us are bitter about that. <laughs> Shout out to Wave Warrior. I'm Wave not, Warrior's I'm, got yeah. third place. He's got tied second, sorry, in this game, and has the record for any percent. He's an extremely talented one. He's good at video games. He's very good. He's got record in both Gen 2 games as well, hasn't he? Yeah, I think. I think maybe I, don't I, know. I might be wrong. I don't know. I don't like Gen Two. It's, it's yeah. It's Gen Three is right here. Why talk about Gen Two, right? Oh, I've just realised. That, that, thank you for explaining to my very moron person <laughs> chat that they're not saying any percent. They want A H Y percent. Ah, he percent. Ah, he percent. I see. But it's ah, he percent glitchless. Right. I have a so, trivia question for the chat, actually. What type was that hidden power from Abra, guys? Oh, me. I know this. Me. Pick me. You don't I know count. Oh, I never count. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're going to get the, uh, the big zoomy. Yeah, so we speak to the Rock Smash dude. Not the Rock Smash guy. He's very particular about that. And then we get literally the best item in the game. We want to go fast, and we have two options for a bike here. One of them is not fast, and the other is fast. So we would like to go fast. There's a lot of bashing here. Come on, Ryder, just give me the bike. Thank you. 
So the mock bike allows us to do all sorts of interesting uh, new spinner passes and uh, just, you know, get around very fast. Rock Smash is a required HM for this run. Uh, we don't have anything that can learn it other than Marsh Tom. You might think it's a pretty useless move. We're going to use it on one Pokemon, but it's a really, really key Pokemon. Coming up in about half an hour, so take notes. Stay tuned. Yeah. Don't touch that dial. We have the Mag Bike now. This is the fastest bike in any Pokemon game and really is kind of what separates Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald from other Pokemon runs for movement execution. It is very, very, very difficult to be good at this bike, or consistently good at using this bike. You only have a four frame window to change directions, and in a way you don't, because you have to be holding the direction as you leave one tile to be able to move to another. So this is quite a finicky thing, and there's often a lot of movement in this run where we need to be uh, tile perfect. And missing a tile can result in an entire like optional fight. So we took a little detour to the right-hand side of Marvel there to fight that one trainer. We would have to fight that trainer at some point anyway, along with the Aroma Lady below him. Um, but we want the experience now. We don't want to fight the Aroma Lady because she has two Roselias and a Shroomish. And we really don't have anything for grass types right now. We would just get destroyed. All right, on to Wally now. Let's destroy him. Yes. It's poor we kid love, that's we just love trying bullying to sick kids in the Pokemon oh, universe. Wow. Okay, no, you might. Let's, let's not drag a Wii into this, okay? <laughs> well, I mean, you're the one doing it. <laughs> okay, I guess. I mean, there's children working for Roxanne, five-year-olds working in her gym. What is happening there? Yeah, I, I don't think they have uh, child labor laws in this. So. <laughs> I don't like this Wii that we're using, this connotation. <laughs> I have no part in this opinion, okay? Wow, what a hypocrite. <laughs> Well, I just do the thing. The game wants me to win, I win. Have you guys ever noticed how... Well, I, I, came, I realized about this yesterday. Have you guys noticed how Wally is very rich and his name is Wally? <laughs> You're not going to make this joke <laughs> again, are you? Please, yes, no. Yes, it's Wally. Wally. You know, you know what the wallet is, yes? Yes, it holds money, sure. <laughs> exactly. So Scott, the creepy bald guy that was watching you fight around the corner, comes around and tells you he's very glad that you beat up that small child. And then we can move on. This range is literally the worst range in the run. So this, is it 55% to die? Something like that. And it has no good moves. And we missed it. You missed the range, why? Headbutt's yeah. actually like, oh, headbutt crit, okay. Okay. <laughs> Fine, I guess. Headbutt's well, possibly content. the best option, but that's a lot of damage that I really didn't want. Yeah, so that Zigagoon also has Growl and, uh, and Sand Attack. Sand Attack, Sand Sand attack bad for obvious reasons, um, but Growl is bad because we wouldn't one-shot this Gulpin here. And Gulpin can poison you, can put you to slip, can pound <laughs> you. Sure, you get a for your joke. I'm getting ball. Oh, I thought it was good. <laughs> Guys, I have good oh, no. news. We have the result of the trivia question. The result was fighting type. Press one if you got it right. One. I got it right. Me, me, me. I did it. I didn't say that. So, we want the next speed here to primarily to outspeed the Magneton in this fight because the Magneton has no good moves. The X attack just allows us to, most of the time, one-shot the Manetric. I wonder if I was dead to self-destruct there. It would have been close. Yeah. I so don't think I wanted to find out. The Voltorb has a very small chance of going for self-destruct, and uh, it's not great when it happens. It is the fastest version of the fight, but it sets up your health <laughs> to be really poor for later on, so... We don't like it, really. So yeah, we, the miss, we really don't want to see a miss here. Okay, good. That Magneton only uses Sonic Boom or Supersonic. Sonic Boom is a lot of damage, Supersonic is Confusion. And then this Manetric is a 15 in 16 range, so if I miss it, I am somewhat upset. Oh, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Quite lucky. Wow. Wow. Round of applause, please. <laughs> I did the thing. So. Thank you, Ado. 
<laughs> so, now, so now we're gonna see the mock bike in action and uh yeah. you're also gonna see my commentary die for a bit because i need to concentrate on playing this well yes so this part Before. after watson is most people would consider the hardest movement section of the game um just between here and the next gym pretty much I find the Winona section a little bit harder, but that's because it tends to be a bit further into the run. But yeah, this is ooh, nice. Great start, right into the sign. This is the only time that a Rock Smash can give us an encounter. It's 10%, I think. Lucky. We use the repel there to make the repel wear off in a specific spot. And so we'll see in just a bike. second. There you go, that's a round two bike. It looks pretty, and it is pretty. Just like you, Chad. We have no manips for these guys. We just have to wait until they both turn away. That was reasonably good. Thank you. Bike down there to deload. That, that guy is a spinner. So we need to make him, force him to look down so we can pass by before he gets a chance to look left. Too bad. Very nice. Nice. And then I went the wrong direction for that. That's not what I'm with this silly goose. <laughs> so we need to do a lot of shopping. So let's get some mush money. I just want to let you guys know that they corrected your category. Oh, are we on 80% now? Yeah. Or whatever it is. We're Very nice. 80% now. <laughs> That's ah, pretty yeah. funny. <laughs> Excellent. This is canon now. The, I hope that the VOD goes up with that as well. <laughs> so we need a lot of X items here. And this is pretty much going to last us for the end, to, towards the end of the run. We are going to have to do one more shot later on, but that's yeah. pretty much everything we need going forward. Now it's time to pick up God Item. So a Japanese runner called Dexy, shout out to Dexy has dubbed any protein in any speedrun god item. Um, in this run, it does a lot of work. It makes, so proteins up your attack, and it makes a lot of the mid-game ranges either guaranteed or far more likely. Um, it does enough that in a marathon setting, it's actually faster to pick up, because we end up not having to save for a dangerous fight later on. And now we're going to see a trick that we call the Angelina spin, in which uh, uh, we're going to turn frame as we get on the bike, which cancels the set turn frame, and it makes us go faster, fast enough to actually pass the spinner without opening the bag or anything. It's pretty cool if you know what Pokemon is, and if you ever play this game ever, you'll see it's pretty cool. Hopefully you like it. Yeah. Yes. So the, the girl to the left side is a spinner um, right after this fight. She can look down and left, uh, down and right, sorry. So we have to pass it twice, and those were both guaranteed. But the execution there is quite iffy. You need it's to tough. time getting on the bike after that hiker. You have to do it within four frames to make the pass safe. Yep, and then, executed. and then you go right into a run to bike on her, on the yeah. lower side. So it's a, it's a pretty cool uh, little pass there. So we scare off Team Magma because they're cowards, and then we scare off Team Aqua because they're cowards. And this would normally all be all we need to come here for. But we actually want to do a little bit of a detour for a fairly important HM. And for more execution. Yeah. Specific repel spot here. This will matter later. He's another spinner. He can look up and left, but not right, which is a little bit weird. And we want to break this rock so that we avoid those two trainers up there. We've been here before, but not on the bike. Very nice, thank you. That was fast. That was delicious, thank you very much. You are delicious. Yeah. So well, you pretty much you need to wait much. for those double spinners to be looking in the right direction. Um, but uh, you got a really good setup there where they were just already set up correctly by the time you got to that tile. And this was the detour. So we can actually go west of Morville, 
and enter the right side of Rustov Tunnel to get this item, but there is a hiker just off screen in the bottom right that we can't avoid if we do that. So it's actually better to go around this way, pick up strength, and leave the way we came in, and then we'll just teleport back to Morval because we have our teleport sp spot set up from when we centered earlier. I cannot say teleport spot. I always want to say spot, spawn, and point at the same time. <laughs> and it just meshes together when I say, like, a nothing word. Anyway. You can say many things today, Amiibo, such as Edo Bean. Edo B. Edo B. Edo B. I like how it's like B. B. <laughs> Reminds me of a sheep just kind of being... <laughs> That's a good impression. <laughs> you wanna hear my you wanna hear my drowsy impression? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> uh, feel free to donate to Ashuru to do Pokemon impressions. He has a whole roster. Yeah. Oh yeah. We, yeah, we could fill the money. three hours with this. <laughs> Is it okay? I can so, do all the Pokemon. Is it okay? So we... oh, go ahead. Go on. No, oh, you go. Oh, I wanted to read a donation. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's a thousand dollars from Pokemon Challenges. It says spam this taxi to beat Maxi. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I don't know if I did it at the right time, so I apologize if it was not just the right in time. time. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, we're just so, about to make our way on. up Mount Pyre to uh, to the Bagma fights up there in our first Maxi encounter. That Aroma Lady that we put off earlier, we can now beat now that we have strength. Uh, the only scary part of that fight is that the Shroomish has effect sport, so there's a 10% chance we got status when we use strength. That's a safe pass as long as he doesn't turn. Very nice. I'm quite happy with the execution so far, um, biking-wise. Tell you what, you're doing well. I'm surprised. Oh. Thanks, Dad. I'm not, not surprised. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so not me. There's a one in... S <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> There's a one in 64 chance you can see a hiker on that uh, cutscene. We were not lucky, unfortunate. Perfect stairs. How do you yeah. go upstairs on a bike? <laughs> Everyone loves that section. It's like a it is really nice fun little zigzag. To... Yeah. So we're at the point now in the run where we've started to become overleveled compared to a lot of stuff. So grunt fights tend not to really be an issue. We're going to start one-shotting a lot of stuff. But unfortunately, there's a Maxi fight coming up, and he's not a grunt. He is Magma Leader Maxi. Wow. And his team is a little bit better than some random pooches, Zubats, and Numel. Yeah, he has to the point no that we can do some setup. <laughs> well, to be fair, he does have a Zubat, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. He doesn't yeah. do that doesn't... in Ruby, though. He has a Golbat there. Yeah. It's, it's a bit weird that they gave him that. But then I guess the Mighty Enna and the Camera up to both pretty strong. So. so, yeah, we need to do a bit of setup for this fight. The Mighty Enna is a real issue. It has Intimidate, which lowers our attack, and Sand Attack, which lowers our accuracy. So, so um, kind of a nightmare. Just to mention the... Uh, the new Manip we mentioned earlier uh, with the Talo into Abra instead of Abra into Talo. That comes into play here uh, specifically because we want uh, Talo to be in slot two so that uh, we don't have to swap back. Or, well, Talo doesn't take super effective damage from Mydena here. So uh, that saves two seconds. And uh, just having them in that order uh, saves us a swap later. So I was arguably not very bright. I found out that I was going to be running this at GDQ, and instead of practicing anything, I spent two weeks trying to figure out a new manip that would save two and a half seconds. I did it, I guess. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Yay. If I mess anything up now, we can blame it on the manip, because I didn't get time to enough time to practice. Even though it's I had okay. A month, so. so far, so you're yeah. doing okay. Uh, so the, the way to get around the Mighty Anna here, the big problem Mighty Anna, is that we want to set up a guard spec to not get sand attacked. Oops. Just got to check we've got the right tailor we have. Good He's gentle, just like you. Yeah. Shout out to Guts. <laughs> Amazing ability. And but so we're going to move Taylor to the front. That will absorb Intimidate, and we'll use Taylor's one turn to set up a guard spec, which will then absorb sand attacks. Now, Maxi has smart AI, so because Bite will always kill the Taylor, it will always bite Taylor. It's never going to waste any more turns. So this is like a perfect strat in a way. 
Yeah. Also, this is the best music in the game. Fortunately, uh, guard spec works works uh, different from it, it did in Gen 2, and it uh, it carries across multiple Pokemon in your party. Oh, very yeah. useful for this vibe. You still need to set up an X attack. Uh huh. My DNA is silly good, so he he will go for sand attack despite you being under the effects of a guard spec. This guy did not read any guides. <laughs> does not have the Prima Guide on how to beat Pokemon Emerald. What if he cannot read? Wow, I've got double sand attack. Very nice. Well, I wouldn't be surprised considering he's a dog. Hey, dogs can read. I can't. Well... <laughs> you don't know. What they I, tell you? How would I you mean, know? <laughs> I mean, my, my dog cannot read. I think. I'm pretty sure so, yeah, this... certain mine can either, but... <laughs> so this fight's relatively free once we're past the... Uh, the my Tiana. Just don't miss the Mudshot. And we're good. If you miss Mudshot, it goes for a tackle. Uh, I've seen Magnitude, I think. I don't think he has that. Maybe he does. I could be wrong. I could be mistaking it for Farnery's Numeral. Yeah. Just don't miss. It's easy. It's I mean, you're speed running. You shouldn't miss. Exactly. So thank you, Pokemon Challenges. We beat Maxi. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for the $1,000. Appreciate Wait, it. I thought that was a hundred. It was a thousand. That's Big so much money. money. It was a thousand. <laughs> so, oh, we'll right. have to go bot Flannery. Yeah, Flannery can be annoying. Oops. <laughs> I, I bonked a tile earlier than I'm used to that, so I'll just the first time make sure gonna, that I get it right. We're going to see the move attract, or hopefully not, but we could possibly Hopefully not. It. So you might think that we have a huge advantage with a water ground type going against a fire gym leader, but this is one of the worst gym leaders. It's actually so. ironic, yeah. Torkoal is just so, so bulky. And we don't really have a reasonable way to be able to one-shot it, so we have to give it a turn unless we get the crit. And it has sunny day, overheat, attract, and body sun. Uh, it won't sunny day if the Slugma sets up a sun sunny day, which it may get a turn to, because we have to set up on Slugma. And then Attract sucks, because we're a male Marsh Tomp and it's a female Torkoal. Body Slam is okay unless it paralyzes and it really sucks, because you could potentially be infatuated and paralyzed, and then you've something like 30% to actually get through on a single turn. And Overheat does surprising damage. With no boost whatsoever, it will do half health, and if it's in sun, it can do up to 63. I'm at a very convenient health, actually, because I'm going to level up on the camera up and go to 64. So I just survive. The, the best thing green. to see here is light screen, um, because it doesn't really affect anything. And uh, Don't poison? Smog poison is annoying here. 6.25% uh, yeah, to see that. So we have a full heal. Um, he'll get another turn here. He may smog again. Light screen's good. Okay. Um, the health is a bit of a concern. But sure is. I don't really have a better option than going in here now. Yeah. I don't die to a regular overheat and sun's not up, so I should have a reasonable chance. A smile. If you the miss, you're fine. And if you <laughs> don't fall in love with a little turtles, you're fine too. So the first protein benefit, we mentioned the god item that we picked up earlier, is that that camera becomes guaranteed. Without protein, it's a 7 and 8 range. And it really, really sucks to miss it. Please do not miss much shots. Uh, no crit. Sunny day is best here. No Boys power? Long stuff. Da no! no. That's so bad. Um, I'm just dead, aren't I? I can't do you can here. heal, yes? Yeah, maybe. I, just, I think this is just screwed Body up. Slant. Sunny day. Here. Sunny day. No, he'll overheat. Well, he always, then, yeah. I'm not dead to another one, potentially. Because, yeah, of <laughs> that, I mean, there's the white herb now, but you're not dead now. No, hopefully, but I've still got to get through paralysis and another turn. The tracks, I've got to get through paralysis and, intimid and infatuation. Do it, come on! He oh, did it, baby. let's go! Speed of running. <laughs> right. That is, normally if you get that combination of infatuated and paralyzed on that fight, you're dead. You yeah. just don't get through. The odds um, just plummeted to uh, succeed there, but we... We managed to get Somehow. through. Just get lucky, smile. And, That's what uh, you get for wishing for bad luck. We're out of yeah. full heals, but um, fortunately we go to the herb shop right now to get heal powders, which are basically full heals. And uh, so we can take care of that right away. Yes. Unfortunately, used a lot of healing items already. Um, I have nothing left. 
so it might be a little bit tight. But it should be fine. So your rival's going to appear here and tell you that you suck, but your dad looks pretty cool, which is kind of rude. Don't appreciate that. If I'm really your dad, then he's right. Oh, I guess, yeah. Unlike you, your dad looks is really tough. Even though we've beaten this guy like twice already. What a rude person. He's just tilted. So herbs are nice and cheap, which is very nice. So we're going to stock up on basically everything. And then we need to go and beat Brawly now, really. But we're going to take a slight detour. We're going to go visit the desert. Specific spot here. I need to elixir. I need to full heal as well. This is weird. Uh, super pal. Oh, and the full heals are up here. <laughs> this is awful. That fight has ruined my bag. So that's because he used the uh, super potion in the fight. And uh, the first thing you buy after something like that happens goes into the slot that the item you finished was in the bag. It's kind of a weird Gen 3 mechanic. Yeah, we're not entirely sure why. Uh, if you actually, if I went into the bag afterwards before I bought the items, it would then kind of update itself and then the items you buy would go to the bottom of the bag again. But specifically because we used an item, the last of an item in a fight, and then got a new item without checking the bag again, it like doesn't update and puts it in the original slot. Please don't spin. Thank you. Please no encounter. Thank so you. Another, another repel buffer there to uh, get a safe pass. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, I think Gen 3 is the only gen where that happens. The item thing, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it happens in Gen 4. No, I, gen I think 5. it's just Gen 3. It's very weird. So, we want to go and beat Norman. However, Norman won't fight us because he's a coward, unless we've got four gen uh, badges. So, we're going to go and bully Broly because we are ridiculously overleveled now. Yep. Basically, taking care of unfinished business here in Duford. And this is very similar to Granite Cave, but if you remember the path, this is very easy. Wow, how can you see? Do we have any donations? This is probably a good time for one or two. Yeah, we have a, oh gosh, a $250 donation from Jason Loros that says, I said I'd do it, so I did. This donation, oh, is made in support of Edo Be, <laughs> the best Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's funny. And then we have a $100 donation from Shiveris that says, This is the wildest run. First time I've seen a Pokemon Ahi percent that requires bad luck to properly run it. <laughs> this is going to be every donation now, isn't it? What have I done? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. This is on my hands. <laughs> Oh, and we have a $133 donation from Opirion that says, Donating 133 for an impression of the best Pokemon, Eevee. I want that Eevee playmat. Should I do it? You can do yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one here, right? This is a cry, is the thing. I don't know, the, I don't know like, the bit sound effects of Pokemon. Tell you what, Edo, you would be great at this, but... If oh. you want me, I can do it for you. Go ahead, do it, do it, and then I'll see if I okay. can imitate it. <laughs> I'll give you a double because you gave us money, and that's, I mean, you didn't give us money. You gave doctors, uh, actually. Doctors Without Borders, you would like. Yes, okay. I, I was thinking of the name in French. I'm silly. Uh, uh, you gave Medicine them money? Sans Frontier. Wow, you're very smart. And no, <laughs> I've just got good memory. I'm going to give you the anime impression oh, and okay. the Let's Go Eevee impression, okay? Oh, okay, okay, all right. Eevee! That's anime. Okay. Eva. Eva. And that's a lot to go with me. So. Very nice. So, Brilliant. Oivi. Oivi. And then. Eva. Eva. <laughs> I don't know if I think that's right. I'm sorry. I think Edo wins that one. <laughs> yeah. Don't. I give up? <laughs> that was incredible. Oh, Are you Eva? You. I'm no. I could be a Pikachu. Pikachu. Jeez. Oh my! <laughs> so that's spot on. That's almost like uncanny, uncanny valley. Will that works. <laughs> I'm like impressed and almost worried. <laughs> All right, so we are heading into Norman, as in the split, not the person. 
Yeah, um, so this entire gym. area sucks. Yeah, this gym is universally hated by runners of this game. Um, I water gunned the Sweller. That's not a good move. So there's just a lot of places to lose time <laughs> here and uh, a lot of scary fights. He's going to heal? Oh, you suck. Yeah, he does that. I didn't know. I've never water gunned this before. So I'm just supposed to double strength, but I'm bad at pressing the down button, and I missed. My health's really good now, though. That was totally intentional, because now I've got really good health for Spinder. Yeah. I totally meant to do that. Because now he's guaranteed to use, um, or he, basically guaranteed to use uh, Focus Sponge. If you don't miss, you're all good to go. Well, I've got Three, five. protein, so I can strength turn one. And potentially oh. strength turn two if I high roll, so I shouldn't miss at least turn one. Okay, that's good. I shouldn't. Hopefully that is the case. Edo, your Pikachu might be very good, but how is your Psyduck? Oh gosh, I'm trying to... <laughs> that, that was good. I don't I remember like my... all... I don't know newer po... That's the problem. I don't know newer Pokemon. It's gonna be more of the older ones, so like... Charmander! Char! <laughs> Uh, You're not gonna know a Swaddle impression then? No, I'm sure. Oh, what is that? <laughs> is that a Digimon? Is that a Digimon? <laughs> Digimon? It's literally my favorite Pokemon. Shout outs to Gen 5, shout outs to the, the black and white race. I was definitely meant to heal. That's also what I get save, kind of. Hmm, this is interesting. Oh. Uh, what do I do here? She's going to slash here. Uh, yeah, I swap. Uh, do I have two Pokemon? Yes. No. Wait. The oh. Taylor's dead. He's gonna yeah. slash, right? So a heal? Ah, this is a huge mistake. <laughs> Potentially. This is a little he will tough. slash. Right. And he crit. That's great. So I have to mm. heal again. I need to get him to not crit. This is gonna make my healing items interesting. Please mm -hmm. don't crit. Thank you. Right. I have to hit the range here. Or I'll have to revive. Oh. Oh, that's, that's a great, a great roll. Great okay. roll. <laughs> Protein makes Please this hit. range go up to uh, like okay. 88 percent or something. <laughs> so that is the first big mistake I've actually made, and thankfully we weren't punished. Likely, um, you were going to have to see him. some. Yeah, you were going to have to see some real adaption there if I actually died. <laughs> well, there you go. It's just content. That's what we promised. Yeah. Now save. The, the dude holding the controller needs to save before this fight. Come on, we can do it. That's you, by the way. I so, yeah. I'm talking to me. <laughs> If you die we there, it. We're safe. It, it sends you back to uh, Mobile City because yeah, that's it, your that's your warp point. Um, that's last. It would have been the end entered. of the world. To be fair, it would have just been a lot. It would have been a lot of time lost, and I'd have looked like a fool. Yeah, uh, it would look ugly. Yeah, it's fine. I just get lucky. Smile. You never need to be good. You just need to be lucky. Keeping us on the edge of our seats. So Norman sucks. We need to set up three X attacks and an X speed. This lead spinder has teeter dance. Thank you for a brilliantly timed example. <laughs> I only have two heal powders. Ugh, this could That's be awful. Funny. I have to get my facade on the first heal, or I have to risk it. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, just facade me, bro. You know you want to. Thank you. Okay. So, Spinder's down, and we're yes. fully set up, but I need, need to be at good health for slacking, because slacking is a tank and deals a lot of damage. It's Horman. <laughs> oh, Horman. I hate these jokes. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna heal here. <laughs> no, I actually really like them, quite fun. So, this figure off is a range. Quite likely with protein, but not guaranteed. 59%. And it's quite unlikely. slow if we miss it, unfortunately. Ugh. You yeah, can so get, get another time. chance. Yep. Hey, second try. That nice. was very tense for some reason. Yeah, we all we were all holding our breath there, and I don't really know why. It wasn't that big a deal. <laughs> <laughs> so I need this to be a good health. Please, belly drum. Uh, why do you have a belly drum? Please, 63, I have to munch up. Yeah. So okay. there's a possibility I die here. Do you remember about half an hour ago when I said Rock Smash would come in useful for one Pokemon? Here it is. Slacking. I can roll high enough here that counter will kill me. That looks like a high roll. That, that is counter. You're not even one, aren't you? 
No, and no. I died. That's zero hit points. That is that is ridiculously unlucky because my it rock is. smash had to roll the highest possible roll to get that. So Norman sucks for this re this main reason is that you, if you're gonna die, you're probably gonna die on slacking, and it's so slow. Yeah. You have to go much. all the way back through the fight. Right at the end of the fight. Yeah. There we got unlucky there. Yeah, 63 health is is uh. Not Save ideal, 15 there. in 16 times. It's so stupid. I swear that rock smash does not low roll. No one has ever seen that rock smash low roll. Teeter dance again. If we get two facades there, we can skip past Spinder and set up on Vigoroth, which is a lot safer ah, that's because a shame. we don't have to sit through uh, confusion. Especially here when I only have two heal powders. Alright, please facade. That'd be Boys, great. I have to risk this. I have to risk this now, and if I hit myself, I'm dead. I'm fairly certain. Hmm, guess uh. what? <laughs> Don't facade? Okay, you didn't facade. We get a shot. Okay. So you might think, well, you've got one heal powder left. Why aren't you using it right now? If I used it now and he teeter danced again, I'm guaranteed to be confused for at least another turn after this. And you don't want to be confused. Oh, please stop hitting yourself, dude. Come on. Yeah, we're at plus three attack now, so when you hit yourself, I'd have the does healing items a anymore. lot of damage. Come I lost on. Three, three coin in a row. flips. That's ridiculous. Come but on. But you're so unfortunate. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't. We actually don't want to use that heal powder until we're past Spinder, because then we can heal the confusion away and know that we're not confused anymore. You don't really want to be confused on anything past Spinder. Um, this fight sucks. We yeah, hate Norman. Our dad's just here to ruin our day, honestly. Aww. I forgot it is your dad. <laughs> it is our dad. It's I... like... It's Stuff. probably a good time for some donations since we've seen every iteration of this fight. Sure. Already. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a $5 donation from Anonymous that says, Ka we get a $5 dohone donation drink. <laughs> Everything's replaced with eight. This is just torturing <laughs> AW. We have a um, $51 donation from Frost Wolf Knight that says, Diggly dig, diggly dig, trio, trio, trio. I like that one. That one's cute. You're good at that one too. <laughs> what is happening? I thought I would get you with Tyler. No, no, no chance. We have a $158 donation from Shamango Fett that says, Here's my po uh, Pokedex donation for the Emerald Run. My favorite starter, Totodile. I'm not able to watch this run live, so I can't wait for the uh, bot in a few days. Let's hit two million. I forgot how Totodile sounded. Didn't it just sound like, like Donald Trump? Sure's got a good one for here. <laughs> <laughs> I actually yeah. have an okay Totodile impression. Do it then, do it. I want to hear it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> We're having too much fun here. It's this is serious okay. business. I'm, I'm not having fun if there's any consolation. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's go. Yeah, we had, I mean, you, asked, you asked for bad luck. I mean, you I just said what yeah. you asked I just, for. I just kind of wanted it spread out, not all on the same fight. Like, <laughs> oh, it's just the beginning. This what you see right now. It's, it's actually spread out, bro. Oh no! <laughs> oh, stop missing. I'm at 62. I'm gonna die to Rock Smash Counter again because oh, I missed my shot. Please. This is actually far more likely to die as well. Yeah, it's oh. an extra roll. It kills you. Please low roll. Please low roll. Please and defend your while you're out. like a max roll again. He facade it. Okay. Facade, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Please get the defense drop. <laughs> Why? Oh, <laughs> so oh, oh, oh. dumb. Uh, I need to powder hit because he'll faint attack. Hopefully. It, what? Okay. Fine, we survived. <laughs> so scary! <laughs> Thanks for dropping that hopefully after I chose to powder. <laughs> I'm very I scared. You always faint attacks there. I just don't Come miss. On. Thank God. Yay! It's over. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> it's over. We're free. We can see the late game. Let's go. First try. <laughs> so Norman sucks. Norman is just terrible, terrible. We don't like Norman. Uh, the run was going really well up until that, to be fair. So I guess we've got to die somewhere. It can't be a Pokemon run that goes deathless in a marathon. It just doesn't happen. And like I say, it's far more entertaining when uh, I have to adapt to different scenarios. I think every one of those fights was different. <laughs> um, 
So you got to see a lot of different like backups, and that's like a good example of the knowledge base that we need. Like, I, there was a good chance I could keep every one of those alive, and I just needed RNG to be a little bit more on my side. No, we Sorry, get Kurt, I interrupted you. I did it again. By, uh, I'm great. <laughs> we get kidnapped by Wally's dad here, um, and he totally doesn't bribe us with the HM surf. Nope. Bribe? What, what does he want? Just to stay friends with his really annoying son. When really I mean, we're just really bullying him when he is looking. He kind of has to do better than that, then. He's a little annoying. So... I said how we were going to use Mudshot as our main damage move for a while. As soon as we get Surf, Mudshot goes in the bin. We're going to use it once more after this. Because Surf is just ridiculous now. 95 base power, hits both Pokemon in a double fight. And... is 100% accurate. And gets bonuses from Torrent, if we can get there. And slowly but surely, our Smarsh Thumb is becoming an HM friend. Oh yeah, we are We are three quarters of the way to being entirely HM moves. Quick detour there for the rare candy. And this is where we would be forced to fight these trainers that we fought earlier, if we didn't fight them earlier. Possible to see a tentacle on this water, isn't it? I say possible because I've seen it. It is possible, it's unlikely. It is, yeah. I had a really good run the other day that uh, the pace got neutered by seeing, getting this tentacle encounter through the rappel. So, Steve Jobs. a bit of weird movement here. Steve Jobs. <laughs> Steven Jobs? Steve. So that weird movement there where I bonked, ran one tail and got on the bike guarantees a pass on the dude that was looking up. He is actually a spinner and he can look right, but he didn't because we're good. Roxanne, and this is, probably, <laughs> this is probably the scariest little bit of movement because there's two optionals here that if I hit either of them, I'm very dead. That's the first one. And that's the second one. Good job, me. Yay. I am proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. I overshot that, though. You're welcome, son. Close. So now we do the Weather Institute. Uh, we are once again at the point where we're overleveled and we're starting to destroy every grunt going. I think I need to strength here to get torrent, don't I? No, Can you're I get in torrent? You're in torrent already, I believe. You're oh, pretty yeah. low yeah. health. Yeah. I was thinking of a different fight. So <laughs> one, we actually want three fights. <laughs> yeah, one of the three Normans <laughs> that I did, yeah. We actually want torrent for a fight coming up later. Um, Aqua Admin Shelly has a Mightyena, and it's still a range in Torrent, um, but it's not the end of the world if we miss it. We will die, but I have a revive, and there's another one to pick up really quickly, if we do use it. Hopefully you do get it. That'd be good. At least how our friend Amoeba is using Surf against this Carvanos is probably being not very effective and therefore losing two seconds. That's because if he misses Macho, which is 95%, he will maybe die to crunch. Yeah, I am only, it's just 1.25% to die if I choose to use Mudshot, but his GDQ is gonna happen, so let's not. Exactly, we're very let's unlucky. Just, let's just take the two seconds and be safe. Uh, a bit of an interesting spinner minute coming up after this guy. So the guy that's in the bottom left of the screen right now is a spinner, he can look up or down. Um, the way he loads in and the tile that I've elected to walk in front of this grunt on means that if I walk in a certain way and pause right before him, if he hasn't spun, he can't spin and catch me. Which is a, just a, a unique property of both your movement speed and spinner uh, spin timings, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what else to call it. Spinners can only spin on certain, uh, certain timings once they're loaded. Um, it's Every 32 frames for this type of spinner. Oh, he sucks. Very nice. Wow. I'm proud of that. So I'm that is. Uh, that. Thank you. Shout outs to some to the Gen 4 speedrunning scene. Um, that is the manip that they use for every spinner ever because nothing else really works there, and it actually applies to that uh, that one guy in this room. I'm very glad that we actually got to see that. Um, yeah, so this is the range on Shelly. This Mighty Enna dies seven and eight times. If it doesn't die, it's a mild issue. Once again, yes. you're starting to see the power of like Surf and Torrent and nice. 
just all of this now. We're starting to stomp some big Pokemon. That was a great range you just got. Yes, very glad. We're actually going to get a free Pokemon now as well, and you might think that getting Cast Swarm is just a time waste. We're actually going to use Cast Swarm a surprising amount. So our major issue at the moment is that we would like to do a lot of double fights as double fights. It is slightly faster to do, if two trainers are facing each other, it's slightly faster to do the fights together because you save having to sit through individual intros and outros. Excuse me. <laughs> um, however, if we were to do that at the moment, we don't really have a secondary Pokemon that uh, isn't like a level six Talo or Abra. So where we, t I mean, that's kind of fine. We have Surf, we would destroy everything, but then Taylor or Abra would get a ton of level ups. So by having a level 25 cast form like we now have, we have something that can effectively absorb experience without taking up a bunch of time leveling up. So we're gonna be swapping cast form to the front pretty soon. And then we have access to do every uh, double fight as a double fight going forward. Commentators joining me at the moment are Kurt and Shiru, both talented Emerald Runners. Hello, you my should name is Shiru. Them. You should follow them on Hello. Twitch. That ember sucks. Please do not burn me. Thank you. You can yes. follow Kurt at, is it, is it K-U-R-D-D-T? Yes. On Twitch. And exactly. you can follow Shiru at Shiru666 on Twitch. <gasps> the devil. The devil. And you can follow me at Amoeba UK. It's exactly the same as the name that's on your screen. This Pokemon is the main reason we pick up protein. So this would be a 15 and 16 range if we didn't have protein, and I'd actually have to save before this fight, because if you miss that, you get leaf bladed, and that really hurts. And then we get introduced to Pelipers, and Pelipers suck, because they have protect. We really hate Pelipers. And they will just use it all the time. I, okay, we got the fail at least. Um, but there's a good chance he protects again. <laughs> Why? The first three things you've done is protect, and he could do it for a full time. You shouldn't okay. hate people, Amoeba. You should love. Uh, it's all right. Pelipers aren't people. Yeah. <laughs> I agree but with that sentiment. <laughs> Pelipers are trolls. We hate Pelipers. I like people, but I hate Pelipers. I love people. So now we have the fly TM, but we don't have access to use it. Scott's going to come across and tell us that he was lurking around the corner again and he's super happy that you beat up another kid. Scott's a real weirdo. Always lurking in the bushes, watching him. <laughs> and then this is going to be the second section, of like, like long section of execution, where we've got a lot of movement and a lot of menuing to do that is quite punishing to miss, because we don't want to hit any optionals. Yeah. Once again, setting our warp point for Abra in the center. Uh, we don't have fly yet, so we have to beep in Winona first, but we're going to come back here later to do that. I love this city. I really like the design of Fall Tree as well. <laughs> so we get to meet Stephen Jobs again. Stephen Jobs is rich, so he's going to hand us free technology. He's also... Oh, I said no. <laughs> that was good. Did you say no because you hate him too? <laughs> yeah, I don't like Steven either. Right, so this Kekli on the fight is kind of mandatory, but you don't... It's not mandatory to fight it, you can just run away. Um, the really interesting side effect of that is that once we run away, Steven is going to tell us that our battle style is intriguing. <laughs> Despite the fact that we just ran away, but yeah. Now we get free technology. We need this to get into Fortree Gym, but we're not actually going to go straight back there. We want to do story stuff on Mount Pyre. Okay, that's a very important spinner to hit, thank you. And we want to also visit Lily Cove. We don't need to do anything at Lily Cove. We just want to visit there so that we can fly there later. We're going to do some flash, flash tourism. <laughs> so a specific repel spot there and a slight detour here to pick up our final rare candy of the run. Kekleo. <laughs> Twitch chat, you're very and, uh, funny. <laughs> and pretty. Everybody in Twitch chat is beautiful. Spin a minute up here. I have to can specifically cancel my turn there. If I don't, it's not a safe pass. Two worst spinners in the game coming up is this guy, which we're going to do a menu on. And this girl. 
Look how fast she spun me there. That's why we repelled where we did. Got to wait for it to turn around. So what have we actually done in these menus? I've swapped Cast Swarm to the front. I've taken off the held items from Cast Swarm and Marsh Tom. And I've taught Fly to Taylo, and I'm teaching Shockwave to Cast Swarm. Shockwave's actually useful in this run, and it's not even useful for the main Pokemon. We're going to teach it to Cast Swarm. We also need to repel again because it wore out. And we want to swamp it now, so it's time to candy up. Yeah, one of the benefits of uh, Abra is we can do all this, uh, we can get Swampert before we go fight with him now, so. Yeah. I think Sapphire, they still fight uh, Winona with the Marsh Tom now, don't they? That was the it's old, the... there's actually a new oh. Sapphire route, which uh, candies before that, but. So it's kind of similar to this one. But yeah, we, we need some extra firepower for Winona. We also conveniently get Mystic Water attached to the castle, which helps surf, so we'll have that, thank you. And you may have blinked and missed it, but we actually did enter Lily Cove there. We literally entered for a single tire, um, but that is enough to be able to fly there later. We visited the city for four frames. Yep. So we're gonna see a bike flash here. Um, audio lag in this game is uh, interesting. Uh, because he hopped off surfing and started loading a new audio track, um, if he just walked or ran into the door, there would be like about two seconds of audio lag. So hopping on and off the bike there um, actually uh, gets rid of that lag. Similarly, yeah. hops off the bike before going into this area. Yep, yep. Card, you're very smart. Thank you. I knew we had him here for a reason. I, I, I actually didn't think of a reason. Oh, wow, okay, rude. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last time that we're going to use Mudshot. That's it, it's done. The only reason we use it there is because we don't want to get not very effective text from Surf or, uh, what is it, Rough Skin Recoil from Strength. So, these are all pretty easy fights, relatively, but you're going to see the reason why we taught Shockwave uh, in a second. We're forced into a double fight up here. The way the, the trainers are arranged, we can't avoid it. I wonder if you only had one Pokemon alive if they'd fight you singly here. I think you do, yeah. Uh, I don't think we'd ever want to do that, but that's interesting. And... Yeah, so there's... The basic premise for any double fight that's longer than a turn is that we want to try and eliminate one side as quickly as possible, so that the opponents only get one move a turn. This is kind. Of, this one is kind of dependent on whether our castle has good special attack or not. Because we're going to strength the pooch, which always dies. And then we're going to shockwave the Carvana on incoming. We we'll would definitely do this fight uh, singles if we didn't have Cast Worm. Yeah. The Cast Worm is a good boy. But this is a range, so our Cast Worm is completely randomized. So this is a range depending on what my Cast Worm stats are like. Not the end of the world if you miss it, which we didn't because you crit. It's not a range if you crit. Good job. Mm -hmm. I crit IV. Now that eliminates an entire move from the opponent. Basically, we only get moves from the left side now. Very nice. Probably a good time for a donation if you want. Okay, uh, before I read a donation, I just want to remind everyone that we're still trying to meet our incentive to beat Steven, or Steve, <laughs> which is the optional uh, trainer battle that's post game. Uh, right now, we're at $18,619, which we are, the goal is $50,000. <laughs> so make sure when you're sending in those uh, donations that you're actually push putting that incentive in so that it actually goes through. And we would really appreciate it. Um, with that in mind, uh, we have a $25 donation from Sebi Stir that says, <laughs> I have to hear that Pikachu impression again. I almost dropped my drink when I heard that. <laughs> GG Edobeam, and let's hope for some more bad luck in this run. Okay, hold on, let me. <clears throat> Pika, Pika. Pikachu! There you go. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> That's uh, impressive. Thank you. Uh, and then we have a... Oh boy, this is gonna be hard. $15 donation from Shiny Halucha that says, this 
Ra is amazing. <laughs> Edope is great. $10 to Vini Steve and five towards Requeza's name to be Danger Noodle, but with the H's, so it's Danger Noodle. <laughs> yeah. If we, get, oh. if we get Danger Noodle, are we doing it as Danger Noodle? Noodle. <laughs> I, I think we have to. Yeah. yeah, and it's winning right now, so. Um, and then it says, oh, and Shiru, uh, give us a Reggie Rock or Guzzler impression, pretty please. Okay, I can do Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock. <laughs> right, so we are into Winona's gym now. We've got another double fight ahead of us. Critting this Pelipper on incoming saves about five bajillion years. So it's really nice if we get it. Never lucky. So now he has a chance to protect. Oh, he didn't. Yes, let's go. And we kind of give this Swallow a load of turns, which is unfortunate because it has double ting, but it's just the best way to get through this fight. So far, it hasn't used any. I need to check Castle's defenses here because he's not taken very much damage. Oh, we missed. Good job. Blind Swampert. Oh, and Castle oh, pulls it. Nice, That's very nice. So normally you'd kill the surfer, um, so the crit is very nice. What's the defenses like? 40, oh, 47, 47. Uh, is that going to be enough special defense for seven? Do we wonder? So what I'm currently trying to figure out mentally in my head is uh, we have a specific strat, or we have a selection of strats for a fight coming up in a fair bit of time, and part of it depends on Castle's defensive capabilities and whether it dies to certain moves or not. So I need to know its defenses and I need to know its HP. And then I should be able to tell what moves are possible based on that. So I kind of have to keep paying attention to that across the rest of, uh, what, like the next 10, 15 minutes or so. This fight is still up, Amoeba. Yeah, this, this fight sucks. So yeah. water ground type and we're going against Atropius with grass type moves. I hope we don't die. It's really, really We're pretty important. far away. Yeah. Are we actually doing this? <laughs> Are we actually oh, setting no. this up? Oh no. Shh, shh, you speak. <laughs> Please die. Oh no. Oh no, that's so oh, bad. No. Oh no, so he died. bad. Oh. What, are, what are we gonna do? It's almost like we don't have a Pokemon in the back that has a quad effective move against a grass wine type. Thanks, guess what? <laughs> 62 Listen, health. Many of you wondering, good. what on earth are you going to do now? Because you're not going to main, you're not going to beat Winona with Castle. Which would actually be a really cool thing if we did do that, but we're not. A little known effect of rare candies is that they work on dead Pokemon. Welcome back, Swampert. I say wow. little known. If you've seen a red speed run, you know yeah. that that happens. It's a little more known now, but. And a uh, nice side effect of that is we get to set up uh, some nice torrent HP. Yeah. So saving here, just while I'm doing the menu, Winona kind of sucks. It's unlikely that we're going to die to Winona, but she can cost a bunch of time and cause issues later in the run, depending on what this lead move is. If I get Perish Song, I am just going to reset and go again because it's kind of a nightmare to back up if we do. It's roughly how how likely is Perish Song? I'm not sure. One in six, and then oh, Aerial yeah. Ace is also bad, and that's one in six. 50% yeah. to use mirror move, which is totally fine. Yeah, with, mirror move well, is a joke. Yeah, we're completely fine with mirror move. Please be nice. Thank you. The cloud bird was nice. Thank you, Swablu. So cute. So we have Tropius number two here. This one is not an issue at all because of quote unquote smart AI. Um, the game realizes that Aerial Ace is not going to kill and Soul Beam is super effective, so it's going to use Soul Beam, which just guarantees the kill on it, because it takes two turns to set up. It'd actually be more issues if it did Aerial Ace there. What is, what is Propius based on? It looks very silly. It's a banana Di flying tree. Dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Banana tree. <laughs> it's a Bananasaurus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we have another Pelipper in this run, and this one likes to protect as well. And the Smart AI makes it protect on the first turn every time. But if we set up an X item, it doesn't recognize that the first turn has happened, so it will just spam protect, which is free setup for us. It's very, very nice. There's a double protect. That is one in three to work. <laughs> it's just time loss. I'm sorry. Actually, yeah, well, you should be. It's all your fault. I blame you, Shiri, for everything. 
I did not expect this. I, I thought you were saying, oh, it's okay. What? <laughs> no, you know you're supposed to do this, Shiro. Yeah, I'll go follow. I'm sorry. This I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell Steven Jobs. Do, no, not him, please. He owes me an iPhone. <laughs> so, that setup is enough for the rest of the fight. No need to worry. So now we're going to try and hold this torrent for as long as possible. Well, we are going to. Either that or I'm going to die one of the two. Yeah, dying is not ideal here. So we now have access to fly, which means that Abra is sort of useless. It'll be used in one more fight, but otherwise it's done its job. Good job. Because we're going to go fly and do a lot of backtracking there. We've got to do some story stuff. The first thing is nip to Magma Hideout, because we've got the Magma M1 from the nice old lady on top of the mountain. So we need to go and bust into Magma Hideout. I always, I actually remembered there not to accidentally save again. <laughs> I always think I'm on Pokemon, I'm not. Good job. <laughs> so we're back to Lava Ridge, because this is the closest that we can actually get to the Magma Hideout. Magma Hideout is a ridiculously fun section to play. Um, there's no real RNG until the very last fight, and the execution is quite tight. So it's quite enjoyable to do this split. This is especially enjoyable to do it well. Um, no promises on, on that regard. I believe in you. Do not disappoint me. I'll try, Dad. I'm like that evil dad from every average movie. Fun little fact about this movement, uh, I'm going to jump on the bike here. Um, biking down this section of Jagged Pass and into Magma Hideout is only faster because of all the weird slowdowns from the ledges if I do it perfectly. Thank you. Otherwise I should just run it. It would also be faster to get off the bike here to push these boulders um, in the immediate sense because the bike accelerates slower than running. But if we did that, we would invoke audio lag when we ran when we bike through to the next room, which would then cancel that time lock, that time save, and make it even worse. Lots and lots of grunts to fight here. And these all die in one shot. Uh, there's going to be some really tight movement in the next room uh, after the next fight where there's two optionals running around a pillar in the center of the room. If I mess up in a bad way, I'll run in front of one of them. It's pretty much, well, it is tile perfect. I have to, oh, uh, is that gonna affect it? Shiru, help. Uh, I think so, yes. Okay, yeah, <laughs> so we're not gonna do that. Uh, okay, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I I've guess you just go that. left. Yeah, maybe. We'll play it safe and not get caught. That's really disappointing. I was so excited to do this movement. And then I, this is why map bike is really punishing. I, I've just made a four frame mistake and now it's ruined an entire setup. That's right. Yeah, that guy would have definitely seen just gotta you wait. if you went right there. Usually you pass along the top here, um, but the setup is very specific. Yeah. Any mistake and you are punished. This is what makes Emerald and I guess Sapphire as well so rewarding is because the, the movement is so stringent and tight. You need to be good consistently. Exactly. It what it's what makes these games like really good speedruns. Like Pokemon overall is a cool speedrun because you run into different situations you have to play around. But on top of that, in this game you get cool execution and that's really cool. Yeah. I think between the RNG manips and the, the movement, this is one of the most interesting runs, PSR wise. All PSR runs are pretty good. But some are more more good than others, I don't know. But I'm biased. Don't just uh, take my word for it. Yeah. I'm very biased too. So we have a lot of grunt fights uh, coming up in this section, and eventually we're gonna see Maxi again. Um, but in between all of them, we have these nice, tight little uh, short biking sections. This one, this one's pretty hard. Oh, close. I didn't bonk, which is good, but I need I want to be a uh, tile more to the left so he doesn't walk as far. You went through the machine and the and the and the wall there. That was cool. That's how I've always done that movement. This is a, a, another fun side effect of having such interesting movement in this game is that people will do things differently. So I'm fairly sure Shiri, you go underneath the machine. Yeah. 
I guess it's the same. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's the same number of stats. It's the it's same, just yeah. Personal preference. Very important not to talk to that guy on his own. I did that once in a run recently. You want to take this as a double fight? I really need to check. Uh, what did Castle have health wise? 62 and, seven, and 47 on the defenses. I forgot to actually <laughs> fully check that. Not that it's Hello. a huge issue yet. Those values are kind of annoying for having so high HP. Hopefully it doesn't affect I... much with Eliza. I'm fairly sure I can heal cast one to full and do strat seven because it's going to get to like 51 special defense. Yeah, that's 49. So even if it gets to yeah. 50, as long as it's got 73 maximum health, which it already has, yeah. I can just heal this to full and do strat seven. I think that's going to be the cool. safest option. Strat seven is the, the fastest Tatalizer it's strat, the... so. It, it is. is the fastest if you don't have to set up for it. If you have to do what I'm doing now and heal, it's actually better to do like strat five. Um, it's only faster if you already have it set up. What well, if you have a menu for it? What do you mean? Oh, to, like, to do the yeah. setup. Um, no, not really. Like, strat 7 saves 10, 10, 12 seconds over strat 5. So if you have to do like any healing, it basically doesn't save any time at all. You guys are hearing us. Well, you, you chat. Yeah. Are <laughs> just hearing re us. just really it's exactly the same thing that we're just talking, completely routing stuff, and everybody listening at home has no yeah. idea what we're saying. Yeah, well, basically. basically for... <laughs> go on, yeah, you, you can go for it. Okay, <laughs> I can go for it then. Uh, Tail and Lysa has like 20,000 strats because the fight is so complicated. And by 20,000, I mean like seven. But it's still quite a bit, considering it's just one fight, right? And it's kind of just everything is set in stone because you always have the same team. But. The variance in stats for cast form and the variance in your HP that you may have for that fight makes it a quite interesting fight when it comes to the setup because you can run into different scenarios. And for those, for all of those scenarios, we have um, strats routed out. Yeah. So there's the things that can affect this. What strat you do are uh, Swampert's health, uh, cast forms, health, defense, and special defense, and how many revives you've got technically. Strat 7 is the good one. We like Strat 7. But they're all numbered, basically, so we don't actually talk in terms of what the strats actually do. We just give them numbers. But it doesn't really mean anything to you guys, so that's why we were <laughs> realizing that we should probably explain what we were talking about. Anyway, Maxi. Maxi, Maxi. Yeah. So we're in Torrent, and the Mighty Enna and the Camera Up die in one shot, which is very convenient for the Mighty Enna because it has Swagger and Scary Face. However, the Crowbat doesn't, and it also outspeeds us. It will use Air Cutter or Wing Attack, both of which have a 1 in 8 chance to kill us. Uh, air Cutter, Crit will kill us. Wing Attack can either Crit or Max Roll. Very nice. Fortunately, this nice. mob boss isn't very resourceful and uh, does not have any Hyper Potions, only a Super Potion. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> it would actually like... be a huge issue if he had a Hyper Potion. Yeah, it would be a big problem. And like Steven Jobs, this guy is not very rich. <laughs> So, Speaking uh, of Steven Jobs, I uh, wonder how that, uh, how that incentive oh, is going. Yeah. Beat Steven Jobs, the final showdown. Right now we're at $20,307. Um, so we're getting there, but we need to keep on donating towards that incentive. We would really like it. <laughs> yeah. You gotta believe. Oh, I believe. Think of the charity. That's the yes. Thing. Uh, we will also need to close the, the Rayquaza name in about 20 minutes or so. It's a little bit away yet, but just as a reminder for that, if you want to donate to name the Rayquaza, you've probably got about 20 minutes left. So, oh, did I? I know I didn't do. <laughs> Thanks for not telling me, guys. <laughs> Oh, that would have reminded me of the story elements to do. Well, do you want me to tell you the truth, Amoeba? You didn't realize. We're, we're playing Animal Crossing. Oh, wow, okay. You're not even paying attention to my run, I see how it is. <laughs> so, yeah, story elements. We're supposed to go to Slateport because uh, Team Aqua have a plan to steal a submarine, and I just want to point out that that is the perfect plan. Because if you steal a submarine, how is anybody going to stop you? Because they need a submarine. Again. Repeat again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't deserve death for stealing. Yeah, I mean, you know. Would, would that kill them? Uh, yeah, I think you torpedo us up. Do we have any submarine experts in chat? Would a torpedo kill us up? Let us know. Edo? 
<laughs> do you own a, Do you own a submarine? No. <laughs> You're missing out. Was I supposed to? <laughs> uh, no, I don't have one either. We were just wondering about submarine questions. I guess nobody knows then. Nope. So, we did actually enter Lily Cove, you can tell, because I'm now allowed to fly here. This is the last bit of encounterable area where we don't ever repel, so of course <laughs> I get one. Beautifully timed. Plus, this is really, cool. really, really unlikely. As long as I can run away from it, that's the only thing. I don't want to die here. You can have another one, but you didn't. Why would you say that? I, I don't know, I'm <laughs> just saying the truth. I know I could, but why? Um, we clearly have no respect for Team Magma compared to Team Aqua because we're allowed to run and bike through Magma Hideout, but we can only walk through Aquas. Yeah, they have very stringent rules here. Yeah, that apparently we're gonna obey even though we're here to raid them and steal their submarine. I have a weird feeling we're forgetting something. Yeah, uh, it's probably nothing. No, I think we're fine. I hope not, anyway. I did forget something, I forgot to go and see the submarine, but we went back, we're totally fine. Oh yeah, that's it. So another use of shockwave here. Um, the Pokemon incoming on the right hand side is Kavana. We don't really want to surf it because we're going to get not very effective text. So if... what else was? Yeah, no, if we can get the, the kill with shockwave here, it's better. And Castle doesn't really have another good move to use. If we use Powder Snow, we're going to get two lots of text. Oh, he didn't die. Yeah. Yes. That crit earlier mattered, then. Yeah, I sure think this cast form doesn't have very good special attack, because I, that's pretty likely to kill in my experience. I've, yeah, I've, it's that's maybe likely. the third time I've missed that. So... Yeah, if we were to Powder Snow, we would end up getting two lots of attacks there, and then the other moves are Sunny Day and Hail, which are just very slow. Weather effects are extremely, extremely slow. You're going to get text when they use it, and then text every single turn after that. If only we added an ability that uh, cancels out weather effects. Imagine a world. Yeah, I would like to have an ability. I never realized as a kid you could walk above that guy. I thought that that square was blocked off by the stuff that was on it. So I always thought he was mandatory. That's fair, I guess. So again, this is another area where a torrent comes in huge use. If we didn't have Torrent, we wouldn't be one-shotting everything in these double fights. Because if you use Surf in a double fight and it hits two Pokemon, the damage is only 75% of what Surf would do to a single Pokemon. So without Torrent, we wouldn't be killing any of these. Yeah. Chad's Torrent. It does make everything a bit risky looking there. Yeah, guys, we're very, we're very low HP, so if anything is faster than you, you just die. But we're very fast, because we're very overleveled. Yeah, if someone goes into your chat and doesn't know the game, they're like, why aren't you healing? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna die. Well, if you some... Yeah, you go, Amiibo. I was gonna say, you do unfortunately have to sit through the red bar sound the entire time, which yeah. is a, a downside. I hate that too. If, if somebody doesn't know about Pokemon speedrunning and goes into your chat, I know the first question already. Well, yeah, you're resetting. It's always the same thing. <laughs> and then they leave. Why do you leave? Just stay with me. I want to be your friend. Please. I really do. Doo -doo, doo -doo. So you are going to get a reprieve from the uh, the doo-doo sound for a bit. <laughs> the doo-doo sound, that was a poor choice of words. Uh, we are going to need to heal to full because of the next fight coming up. And then we really want to get good health here. I don't think I have more than two powders, do I? I think I went down to two on Norman. So I don't think I'm going to be able to double powder here, which could be interesting. Hopefully it'll be fine. Gyarados just needs to be a friend. Otherwise we'll be locked into a really bad Tatanlyzer strat. But yeah, our HP for the Tatanlyzer fight coming up is hugely dependent on this next fight. So... We have a Gyarados to fight, and it has Intimidate, and we don't really have any other good, good moves to use against it than Strength, so we're going to be Strengthing it. Let me see what my healing item's like. Wow, this is not good. <laughs> I need to fight Hypers in Musty. I've used so many healing items. But yeah, we, uh, we three-shot this... Well, we should three-shot this Gyarados with Strength. Sometimes it's a range, although with Protein it's very unlikely to be. We're likely to get it. 
Um, and it has Leer, Bite, Dragon Rage, and Thrash. And we want to finish around 100 HP. Somewhere between 97 and 113 is the ideal. Anything higher is workable, anything lower we have to heal up to. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine there's lots of different ways of getting trolled here. Dragon Rage is good if he uses, like, Leer. Yeah. If he bites here, it's rough. Ugh, there's the rough. bite. That's, that's the worst HP. Cool. I wish you <laughs> had an Orenberry. I wish I had an Orenberry too. 95 is just short. We basically are just going to take this and uh, hope. Yeah. Oh, actually, there might be a... a I'm going to bag Manipa. This one, this spinner hates me, so I'm just going to make sure we don't get hit. Um, yeah. Do I do you reckon I should take the double fight as a double fight and hope for Psychic? Because it works if I get it on either of them, doesn't it? Sure, Maybe yeah. I should go into, yeah. Makes sense to me. <laughs> on the fly route, and this is what we mean by uh, needing a good knowledge base. Like, you need to adapt to anything. And the, the HP here is a, a major one. I need to buy Hyper Potions, I scroll past them because thought revives with the first ones. That's one. I'd like 11, thank you. Yeah, you definitely take, take this HP, it's just very risky. Uh, I mean, I will do. There's kind of no other option. I don't really want to heal up to 115. That's like yeah. far less likely to survive the fight, so I'd probably just want to go for the fight and reset if I do die. So the reason that uh, your HP requirement here is uh, so stringent is because setting up Torrent on Tate and Liza is pretty much non-negotiable. You need it to win the fight. Um, and you get hit uh, specifically by Earthquake twice on the clay doll, so we set up specifically so that uh, those two hits put us right into the pocket we want to be in. We would love to see Torrent here from Carlia if we can see that. So Otherwise... Uh, did I say Torrent? I meant Psychic, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you meant, don't worry. So Psychic on, yeah, we in prison. This is like 1 in 4 to use, and we might even use it on cast form, so whatever. Um, so yeah, we are on, we're like 2 HP lower than where we'd like to be, really. There is a, a reasonably good chance that this will be totally fine. But, um... We it's more fun this way. Wanna, yeah, this is content. We basically need low rolls from the clay doll. Otherwise, we may be put into range by Zarty. The general idea of the strat for Tate Liza, regardless of which one of the seven strats you're using, is to distract Zartu with the spare Pokemon that you have, Castle, Abra, and Talo, so that Zartu's not using anything out of Sunny Day, Calm Mind, or Light Screen, because they're all terrible moves. And also to get two Earthquakes from the Claydol so that it will put Swampert into Torrent. We also need to set up an X speed and an X special on Swampert to also give it both the speed and the damage boost. An uh, interesting property of like X special and Torrent is that they are multiplicative, not additive. So Torrent plus one X special is more damage than two X specials. So it's not really a question of like using specials to back up not having Torrent. You need both. You're going to do more damage with them both. Yeah. This Meditite is oddly bulky. We don't get to strength it. We have to surf it. Yeah, and surf count can be pretty tight in this uh, section coming up, depending on how Tate and Liza goes. Yep. We, we have exactly enough, but if we ever need to use one more, it can be an issue. Exactly. Um, also, okay, but for this HP, you basically want to see Earthquake dealing a low roll and then you are probably fine for Zatu. Uh, the, yeah. the way that the Tantalizer fights, it's so... We can't set up so many ra so many strats for it because you, we actually abuse um, the smart AI that we were talking about before. It, we just, as Amiba said, we distract uh, Zatu into killing our Pokemon because it, we're, they are in kill range, so it's never gonna hit um, Swampert as long as they are in kill range. It's very convenient. Yeah, the smart AI is gonna prefer setup moves if it can't kill with anything, but it will always prefer killing a Pokemon if it can, regardless of what that Pokemon is. So I need to heal Castle. And this is uh, probably the worst fight in the game, most would agree. Yeah, this is the worst. This is the least likely to survive. And it kind of starts off a, a bit of a gauntlet because there's two fights following this that are also fairly rough. 
sucks. It sucks. <laughs> All right, here we go. I messed up already. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> you, didn't, you, did. you didn't swap. I, didn't I was swap. thinking, I didn't swap, I didn't swap man, average yeah. a second. I are remembered that man. I needed to heal. That was the important bit. Close. Right, content, let's go. So well, I need fine. to put Abra to second for this strat. Wait, it's so bad that you have to reset before you even start. <laughs> Hello, you are going to die. At least uh, I noticed. That's the thing. Why? You're not laughing so much now, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> why was that weirdly threatening? <laughs> You're not laughing so much now. So, oh, there's always double battle like Speed first, waste a turn with Abra. Zartu kills Abra, and then Claydol is <laughs> bye. Claydol is going to go for Earthquake because it'll hit both of us and kill the Abra. We're going to send in a flying Pokemon, which won't get hit by it. So this stalls a nice turn. Please low roll. Uh, that looked reasonable. I don't think I'm dead to Zartu. Uh, I don't think so either. Maybe uh, though. We'll find out, won't we? I've got no other choice. Special burn a turn with Taylo. Zartu kills Taylo. Hopefully, Gaston tanks this Earthquake. As long as he doesn't crit. It's really important that Claydol doesn't crit here. Oh, it's not an Earthquake, is it? It's Ancient Power. Ancient Power, the boost. I was thinking, okay. yeah. I forgot what order I was on. I need to not crit the Claydol here. It's because I need Taunt from him. Doesn't matter too much if I crit the Zartu. I didn't, it's fine. Zartu kills Castform nice. Earthquake Can't Company for crit. Torrent. <laughs> Please don't crit. Thank you. Stuff. I will need to potion good. this health. Zartu is a range for these two serves. However, the first one that I did really high rolled, so I don't expect to miss this. And then the final hurdle is the Lunatone that's coming out is a 15 and 16 range. So if I'm very unlucky, I miss that die and we have to do it all over again. That would suck. Don't do that. That would suck. Yeah, so this strat is faster specifically because you don't have to revive any of your other Pokemon. In the other... And I think all of the other strats, you have to revive cast form. Um, there's there's a couple of ones in like strat one and three don't revive anything, um, but they are ridiculously slow for other reasons. <laughs> like, or is it two and four? Sorry. That was actually relatively good, other than the fact that I forgot to swap Abra. But this is why we save. So that's the hardest fight out of the way, and they were very kind to us. They let us go first try. We've only died to Norman so far, haven't we? Yep. That's relatively, that's pretty typical of my runs. Norman hates me, but everything else tends to go pretty well. Yeah, we had a bit of a scare on uh, cool trainer Jody, but... Oh yeah. <laughs> Shh, don't remind them. That was totally intentional. Yeah. Kurt, why did you do that? Yeah, I'm very rude. Why are, you, why are you setting me up like this? Now Shiru is my best friend. Okay. Well, I guess I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> so, some grunts to defeat here. And we're going up into what the community refers to as Trudable, because it's us and Stephen Jobs versus, uh, it's not Courtney, it's Tabitha, as I found out yesterday, and Maxi. So it's a true two people versus two people. Yeah, this fight kind of sucks. My health is terrible. Courtney only exists in Pokemon Ruby. Yeah, for reference. And the remix. I mean, your HP is bad, but it's if terrible. you just reflect. Yeah, but I'm, I'm like dead to every move and I can't potion because I potion out of torrent. It's very bad, yeah, I agree. It's really, really bad. This is like the worst possible HP to be at. You're so unlucky, Amiba. Uh, worth HP uh, for no. 10, Eliza, and worth HP for this. Yeah. I think that they're, they're like connected. I feel like you, most of the time, if you've got the really bad HP for 10, Eliza, then the damage rolls you get from Claydol will give you the bad HP here as well. But I need to be in torrent for this fight, and if I potion now, I'd be 1 HP above. So I have to go in at 31. Unfortunately, there's a Crobat in this fight that uh, does 34 with Wing Attack. And if it thinks it can kill, it will. So this could be kind of rough. I'm going to mud shot this just to have an extra surf. We would normally surf that for the guaranteed hit, but I'll take a bit of safety just in case I need it. Because it may be that this true double fight is a, a bit of a train wreck. These three guys make a huge fuss about fighting them three on one, and yet they have the same number of Pokemon as the guy that was guarding the stairs between them. So I don't really know why they do that. Well, yeah, these grunts are very silly. Their Pokemon are bad. 
probably a good time for a donation if you want. Okay. <laughs> we have a $250 donation from Michael that says, Come on, chat. Gotta take Steve down. <laughs> um, we have a $5 donation from Bitwise that says, We're doing a donation tray. I'll give $10 if anyone can do a cricket tune impression. I know this actually. Can I do it? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. It goes, if I, I hope I do it right. It goes. That was good. <laughs> the only one that I know. <laughs> that How was did impressive. I guess it right. Yay, I'm happy. Um, we have $200 from Pilgrim Turtle that says, You all are fantastic. Here's to extending the run and fighting Steve. <laughs> Good old Steve. Uh, $250 from Zan Damascus that says, Here's $250 for Ho oh, oh. Or wait, is it no on? <laughs> Put this to, to beating Steve Stove. <laughs> Alright, so we've got. Terrible HP here, so we're going to take a nice safety save. And the difficulty in this fight is that we need to we need to do two turns set up, and then we're going to mash surf, and we really need Metang to be a bro, um, but we have no control over him, unfortunately. So Stevie has got to do his his best for us. Steven Jobs and his legendary pseudo legendary Pokemon, because he's rich. <laughs> you, you can just them buy them. This gust thing. Yeah. We need to it's grind disgusting. for them. It's like a gacha game. So this lead Mighty Anna has scary face, so we're going to want to guard spec to avoid that. We can also uh, very occasionally see takedown from the camera up, so that is terrible. If we do. And then Metang has Metal Claw, Psychic, Light Screen, and Reflect. We don't mind it getting rid of Light Screen and Reflect here. I actually really would like the Reflect, given my HP. Um, because then it will attack for the rest of the fight. Swagger's unfortunate. Sure is. Metang's much less okay. likely to be helpful now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's helpful. Yeah, so, no longer range. Mighty Inner is a range for us to kill the Surf, and now it isn't. Why does he always do this to me? <laughs> always swaps out Crobat. And it's never the Crobat. It's 10% okay. for him to use that, to do that, sorry. If I could get the Crobat on the swap, then I would be doing damage before. I can Unfortunately, he die. will always go for a camera up, because he resists oh, really? Metal Claw. Oh. Uh. And now this is a shame if, if Tabitha doesn't send Golbat out. My team is good. Golbat. Okay, that's good. So hopefully Metang uses something good on the Golbat, preferably, although he would kill the Mighty Enner if he did that. That'd actually suck, actually. So, yeah, hit himself, it's fine. We outspeed the Golbat, but we don't kill it. So I do need Metang to be a friend and attack the Golbat, preferably, because if it attacks mm -hmm. me, then I'm mega dead to the Crobat. I get 45 here, right? Okay, bite okay. on Metang is fine. This is bad. Yeah, yeah is... I might be dead here. That's probably dead. Wow, and a crit, oh, nice. And Very crit. nice. <laughs> Good game. It should be so bad, bro. Yeah. If I die again, I might go and get an Auron Berry. It is that bad. <laughs> I guess he could use an energy powder there, but it's so risky as well. The, yeah, that might have 50 50 to survive it, is the thing. And then it's super fine if I do survive, and it's really bad if I do use an energy powder. So I'm like, damned if I do, damned if I don't. Come on. We can defeat them and that's it. Yeah, we could just win. That's a genius move. Mm. I, I just came up with that. <laughs> and that's why you're the world record holder. Yeah. That's genius why we are just, strats. we are both plebs in your, oh, I need to press the A button there. <laughs> I just, just sat there not looking at it. Cause I See, forget I the A goes your I will press the A <laughs> button there. There we it's go. It's okay, you'll learn. <laughs> I always forget that he's, uh, it's got the, the thingy text for Patronized. Intimidate. Yeah. I mean, I have to take it. He has a better time than me. Metal Claw's good, again. I'd Just like to see Reflect this time. Come on, Matang, you can do it. Give us a Reflect. It's gonna make us so much safer. He's done it again! Why don't I always get this? This is the same fight. What is the world? <laughs> oh, 
Both you messed camels. up us. Useless. Wow. Is that swap really 10%? It, it really is. Wow. At least for regular fights. Maybe not for this fight, but it really is tempers in bottom fights. The other downside oh, of that swap is uh, when Mighty Hand comes back out, you get Intimidate text again, and Matang's clear body, and it's like... You lo lose like a whole, like, I don't know, 10 seconds to it. Just that swap. It's very slow. Hmm. This is fine. These both die. But I'm going to get gold back and crow back out. Oh, There's yes. a flag. There's a flag. Okay, we, we have a reasonable chance to survive now. <laughs> As opposed to the horrible situation we were in. Are you ready for this psychic on Corbat? Uh, I am super ready for Psychic Hunk. Well, you would, no, you'll never do that because you wouldn't Psychic the Mighty Hunter. I might get Metal Claw on. Metal Claw on Golbat would work. That's true. Crowbat that doesn't nice. really help because I'm probably still not going to kill it. Let's yeah. Surf. Hey, there's that. Good stuff. Okay. All right. So I just need... Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's good. fine, yeah. Creep for content, maybe? Nah. So... I just need... If Meta can kill here, that's great. And if not, I've, I've got the extra surf, so it's not the end of the world. We win now, I think. Unless I get crit on this turn. Actually, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> that was that this is 10 2 Okay, we me got look. we're fine. <laughs> Forgot the outspeed to me. Yeah. That would have been ultimate content. So it's very important here to have at least three surfs for the uh, Archie fight coming up. Um, yes. It's actually the last fight we used Swampert for. So the Rayquaza naming incentive will need to close once we beat Archie, although we are five minutes away from that. Yeah. It's not there yet. We just meet Maxi, not Archie. Yes. So Swampert's only got one more job to do, and then he is done. You can take a well-deserved rest. Streamer, shouldn't you heal? Well, no, I am at low health. Maybe it's a good idea. Chat is complaining about the bee-boop noise as well. Yeah. Chat so, needs to learn a little bit. Steven, for some reason, thinks that we think that he lives in Rustboro, so he tells you he doesn't live in Rustboro, he lives here, but I don't know why he would think that we think that he lives in Rustboro, because we've never seen him in Rustboro. game doesn't make a lot of sense sometimes. It's a plot hole. So, now that we have Dive, Swampert's journey to be an HM friend is complete. Get rid of Mudshot, teach it dive. And yeah, we're still using it. It's still like our main Pokemon. Despite the fact it's completely HM'd up. Because Surf is so silly, it's so strong. Yeah. Surf is so strong that even though we're going to fight Team Aqua's leader, we're still going to use Surf. Right? <laughs> That's See Floor Cavern coming up. It's another fun section of movement. We're going to do a lot of, like, jumping on and off the bike because certain areas are faster to do on foot. I bonked the wrong side of that rock. That's okay. That's eight frames lower. Interesting spinner pass coming up as well. That guy on the top of the screen is a spinner. We are going to run to the tile that's below and to the right of him and then walk up and check if he spins. Shoutouts to Ringo. Shoutouts to Ringo. Indeed. Very talented Japanese runner. You uh, debuted that one. There's lots of little th optimizations in this area. Things like getting on the bike there because it's faster to bike those six or seven tiles, but then pushing boulders is faster if you're on your feet. Very nice. Well, we're almost... Archie, bike flash here again. There you go. Goes faster despite not being on the bike. Yeah, that's another audio like minute. Again, faster to push boulders on your feet. Oh, oh I didn't get the bonk. That's a shame. You have to have pretty strong feet to push these boulders. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. On your feet. It's really important not to mess this one up because <laughs> it takes forever to do if you do it again. You actually can't get encounters in this area, but I'm still going to repel. This is more for timing later on. 
better to repel here than once we're done. And then the last stupid fight of the run, really. Wow, we are actually going to have to save for. That was mean. That was mean, I'm sorry, but Archie is stupid. And uh, he's going to get told just as much once we're done with this fight. Yeah, because he uses the red orb. Oh, wait, spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know he doesn't have the blue orb because Ma Maxi used the blue orb. I'm not paying attention, though. Oh, that's true. I'm not, I don't care about the story. You get to listen to the good thing one last time. So, pretty similar to Maxi 2, actually. Um, the Mighty Anna that he leads with is a real issue, but thankfully Torrent dispatches very quickly. However, he's got a Crobat and a Sharpedo that we neither outspeed nor kill in one shot. So we are going to have to do some setup there. I cannot wait to defeat this trainer. Which means he's got a lot of opportunities to crit us. Our car misses great here, not the case. Mm -hmm. Pretty much any crit here is just really bad. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it's terrible for me because I've got no more powders. Exactly. Even if he crits here, I'm screwed. Yeah. yeah. Got to dodge one more. Come on. There's the wing attack. Okay. Good job, Amoeba. Nice. Thank you. I did my best. That's a bit running for you, baby. <laughs> so, that's Archie done. That's also Swampert done. He will not do any more fights. Good job, little guy. So, right after this, we have a lot of story. Lots. This is not the most interesting section from a speedrunning perspective, but it is quite enjoyable to be here because it means you got past all the difficult stuff. So, to hear. Archie's, Archie's going to be an idiot, and then Max is going to show up and tell him he's an idiot, and then he's going to tell him that he was an idiot, and then they're going to go outside and tell each other they were idiots again, and then Steven's going to show up and tell us that they were idiots, and then he's going to leave. And that's going to take about <laughs> a minute. Everybody's an idiot. Everybody's an idiot. Oh, and the Rayquaza name. Can you let me know what that is, please? Let me double check. I think it's still the same name, which Danger I believe Noodle? it is. Yes, Danger Noodle, so... Is it capital D, replace... capital N? Uh, yes, but if you want to do H, that could it's be okay, actually, too. <laughs> it's actually very close. Danger Hoodle. Yeah, this one isn't clear at all. Danger Noodle is in the lead, but not by much. Second place among us. <laughs> oh no, I'm very glad Danger Noodle won then. Thank you. Oh yeah, he won actually, yeah, because Archie is done, yeah, that's you're it. right. We are done. That is the cutoff. Are you spelling it with H's? Yes, it will be Deja no Deja Hoodle. I guess. I, I need to not mess that up, actually. That's gonna be much harder to think about. Oh, what no. if you mess it up? By and I put the ends back up. in, and it's backwards again. <laughs> oh, no. It's like meta humor. So Brennan calling us, telling he saw a big green noodle flying across the sky. I'd be impressed. Nice. We actually need to go story-wise to Sutopolis, um, but we are closer to Pacific Log than we have been at any other point, so we'll do some sightseeing before we go there. This surfing is fairly precise. Thankfully, not as difficult as biking. Yay. That guy always scares me. Yeah, he's always one tile away from seeing you, so... I'm always scared of this guy, right so we'll need it later. That woman can't see you. This one can. I almost messed it up. I was very ready to take the mick out of uh, Shiru for <laughs> taking that super steady in his record, and then I messed it up, so I can't even do that now. Oh, uh, what a shame. <laughs> no I patronizing tried. today. No patronizing. So, we visited Pacific Log. And on the first tile that we've actually activated it, flown away, because we just need it for a fly location later. Seven point eight out of ten. Too much water. I agree. Look, it's even raining. So more story stuff. We're gonna watch a cutscene again. You see the showdown between our two climate disasters. <laughs> Groudon horrifically outmatched in this area. Yeah, it's even raining too. It's just really... It's <laughs> yeah, not. Really has the... It, he's not full has the upper hand. Props to Groudon though, he's still staying here. Probably has to have a choice, really. He's like, how do I get here?
We have to watch them slam into each other three times. <laughs> for some That's reason. kind of cool. And then this section of movement would be really, really interesting if we could bike it. So instead, Stephen Jobs is going to show up and annoyingly lead us through it. Very slowly. Yeah. You Which, reminding that we still need to make the beat Stephen, Steve, uh, incentive to be met. We're at 23,790 and we need to reach 50,000. I know, I know the viewers or chat are amazing people can make it happen. I will love that. It will be so poetic. Any Silicon uh, Valley CEOs in chat? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. The ghost you know. of Stephen Jobs. The ghost of Stephen Jobs. Wait, he's dead. <laughs> oh, no. So the reason we repelled earlier in the Seafloor Cabin where we did is because it wears out here, and that allows me to repel at the same time that I skate rope. Wallace is here going to ask us where Rayquaza is. We don't know. At no point has anybody told us where Rayquaza is. Um, so we're just going to guess. He asks you if it's in the Cave of Origin, which is actually <laughs> we where it. we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to repel here before we do the skate rope. Saves the menu. Yep. Now we have to go sightseeing again. We've been told about this amazing location called Sky Pillar. Yeah, so Sky Pillar uh, is pretty much out of the game just to show off the mock bike and, you know, add the Rayquaza storyline. Um, pretty much, like, one of the most iconic places in the game. Those two trainers won't fight you because we've only got one Pokemon left. If we had two alive, they would see us and initiate a fight. Exactly. Um, I know you guys, you in Chad, remember falling in this place as a child. Probably as an adult, too. I did that in my PV, and I was an adult, I think. <laughs> and it's cool. Yeah, it's very relatable. It's tough, but we speedrunners, we never fall. So, it's kind of the ones real easy. Um, no real issues with this. Exactly. Says, I'll, def I'll definitely bonk now, now that I've said that. No way. No way. Bonk the Skype of the one, the legend. The myth, the legend. Mm -hmm. Don't get on the bike here or here because of audio lag when we enter those ones. Oops. That's not a bonk. Not a bonk. We got away with it. That's an intentional bonk to get off the bike. Mm -hmm. And then Saves we wake Rayquaza up from his nap. How rude. Yeah. And he gets a bit annoyed, which is understandable. Hey, bro, I was <laughs> sleeping. What the heck? And this is all we're here for. So we're going to go fly back to Sotopolis. And now we get to talk about RNG in cutscenes. Because if Pokemon didn't have enough RNG, this cutscene has RNG. So the weather cycles between this rain and intense sunlight to represent Groud and Kyogre and story and other uninteresting stuff. Um, but it actually cycles randomly. And this cutscene can't finish until the rain cycle finishes. So there can be a variance of up to about 12 seconds to where this cutscene decides to finish, and you have no control over it. I think you looked into manipulating this at some point, didn't you, Shiro? And it's like impossible. Yeah, Xara and I did look into that. I think you will help with that, right? Uh, no, I, I did not. I don't okay. think I'd ever put myself through that. Yeah, uh, this cutscene, the RNG, it's not really RNG, it's actually just following a cycle constantly. So whenever you leave the sky pillar, you, it's gonna decide how long this uh, cutscene is going to last. And it, it, it's not that it's RNG, it's, it's just not in your control. So this cutscene could have ended at any point when Rayquaza fell off. This is very bad. This is very bad. Wow, we're still going. Yeah. Wow, very nice. Yeah. That's, That's a great a example. <laughs> so I'm pretty much going to hand over to commentators now because this next section is extremely difficult. Yeah, so yep. Sky Pillar 2 um, is where we go get Rayquaza. It's uh, really where we show off the limits of the Mach Quake. Um, we have those tiles which you have to bike over at full speed or else you fall through. There's a lot of tight corners. Um, so getting through here without bonking is... Uh, like, the tough. goal. It's very tough, though. I've done it once. <laughs> Ever. 
Let's do it again. But um, once we get to the top, we'll see where Quaza, and I think we'll just let you uh, observe what happens when we get there. The first, third, and fifth floors are the worst, despite the fact that the second and the fourth have the full tiles on them. Yep. So this is just, oh wow, this is really bad actually. <laughs> oh dear. There we go, that's the important one. Don't fall hey, down there, because that wastes a lot of time. Um, so it's just really difficult because of how fast the map bike moves. Close. And we want to bonk again at the end to manipulate audio. Very nice. And now and the fun begins. Your third and final RNG minip of the run. And the most stressful, despite it actually probably being the easiest. And I was wondering if we forgot anything at uh, the Aqua Hideout. That was talking about the Master Ball. We didn't actually forget it. We're speedrunners. We're going to catch this on a, po on a Pokeball. Spoilers. I mean, how else? I'm going to catch it with my mind. Your mind. <laughs> <laughs> so gonna... the odds of catching a Rayquaza in a Pokeball, like, unmanipped are 0.04%. So to actually find an RNG cycle where we have a reasonable chance of catching it, we do have to wait a little bit. So just enjoy, enjoy the atmosphere. I feel really good about that. I'll be very disappointed if this pops. Come on, you got this. Nah. Beautiful. Very nice. Yay. Thank God. That is That's very the difficult. It's a That's very the showstopper one that I really want to hit. Danger Needle, nice. but with H's. Day... G this is no, killing my brain. Just... Danger... What? Oh, no. No, no. Have, no, this is how no you're going to spell it. Go what back. It? Back to so D. Yeah. H. G. R. Oh, okay. <laughs> Capital yeah. H. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, D L E. Oh, D L E. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> spelling is hard, bros. The hardest part of this one has been spelling. Watch one. Ah, oh, we got Brave One. Let's go. I got the best Brave One. Wow, nice. Yes. Very, very nice. So, there's not really that much in it between the Rayquazas, but getting the best one means you get the slickest end game. What was harder, spelling or the minute? Spelling. <laughs> I'm not very smart, okay? I can press buttons good, but I can't spell well. So, we now have Big Green Fog, and he will stomp the end game. So, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> we don't really need to uh, do much strategizing from here. This is probably the worst fight, actually. Um, there's a Kingdra in this fight that we'd like to hit fly on. That's also likely the to fight. double team. I mean, no, there's no bad fight, but this one's probably the worst. Yeah, champ. Well, I, I guess champion is uh, a little bit rough as well. Probably yeah. worse, but this one feels worse. After you hit a successful manip and it's all going well, and then you miss fly here and you just feel terrible. Yeah, that ice puzzle, by the way, you really don't want to mess that up because uh, there's lots of trainers lurking underneath. <laughs> yes, that's like a, it's like a five minute time loss if you fall down. I'm glad I didn't really acknowledge that until after <laughs> I'd done it. Didn't think about how stressful that could be. So we have Outrage on Danger Noodle, which is basically a win button. If you can click Outrage, you will kill whatever you're using against, but Speed. it comes with confusion. This is 72% to hit. Please hit. Please hit. Never hit. Uh, All right. This, this could bad. be bad. This could be fun. Just want to hit the Outrage now. Okay, but okay. now we're fine. Okay, well, there you go. There's the bad luck. Yeah. So we didn't hit the fly. Um, th if we do hit fly there, we can extreme speed the next Pokemon, and then we Outrage the last two, and we don't get confused, which is a lot faster. Um, we are going to end up confused at some point. If I get the three turn here, I'm just going to risk the confusion on Crawdont. If I get two turn, I'm going to heal it. Yeah, this is one of the big reasons you want to get um, Hearts and Berries, uh, but... No, Hearts and Berries suck. Yeah, these guys wow. don't, don't <laughs> like that safety, so... I, I like, like to go fast. Berries. I like to have fun. So like we could you. heal 
here, but we're 50 50 to get through, and the damage that we hit ourselves with is nothing, so we might as well just risk it. Easy game. So, Let's go. we do need to do a very little bit of setup now on Rayquaza for Elite Four. We actually don't really need any better moves, but we do need moves with a bit more power points. Um, Extreme Speed has five when we've already used one, so we're going to run out of those very quickly. And Rest is useless, so we're going to teach Aerial Ace and Waterfall. We need to have Waterfall as it's a required HM. But uh, Aerial Ace is like our main damaging move because there's lots of power points on it, so we're not going to run out. It's funny yeah. how this guy gives you Water Pulse. And he's the eighth gym leader when you have surf like a, yeah. a year ago. You, you got wow. surf. Water Pulse yes. is a little bit useless at this point. So 65 power move versus, uh, versus 95. surf's 95. <laughs> you get well, for, for context, you get Water Pulse on the second gym in Fire Red Leaf Green. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so Aerial Ace is very good because, you know, stab damage for Quasar just pretty much demolishes everything. So. Really, the move we'd really, really like to have access know, to. That. You know, the move we'd really like to have access to is um, Dragon Claw because it would do a lot more in general and has the same number of power points. But it's very difficult to get. The TM is locked behind a waterfall in Meteor Falls, and the other option is to Heart Scale and go back to Falibor, and it's just not worth it at that point. So we want to keep flying Outrage. Uh, we don't really have a choice, we have to keep flying, but obviously want to keep Outrage. General plan going forward is going to be get through the first two or three Pokemon and then press the win button and hope for the best. Yeah, there's a few victory road. swimmers in this section, but you just go along this one horizontal path and you can perfectly avoid them. They can look scary, but they are actually free. Yeah, that's one of the that's like the easiest surfing section really. And then and that, Victory Road is in the dark, and there's going to be spinner passes, and it's all on the bike. So that's cool. It's yeah. the final hurdle, really. It's the very <laughs> last one. It's a really fun but section first, to do, actually. But first, we're going to bully our childhood friend. <laughs> yeah. oh, We've it's got wallet. one more bully session. Please wallet. donate to uh, <laughs> please donate to cure Wally's bullying. Wait, I bet Wally would give us the rest of the money for Steven. <laughs> Do you reckon we'll get, to, what is it, 28,000 we need? Wally, have you got 28,000? Of course he does. Look at him. How, well, much long, how much more do we have on that incentive? So right now we're at 26,337. We really need to push for it. I know you guys can do it. Uh, is it okay if I read a couple donations? Yeah, sure. We have a $5 donation from Sebi Street 99. It says, $5 train for Stebe. Choo-choo, all aboard the Stebe train. We also have a $10 donation from Dire Beast Rex that says, bad luck, Amiibo. <laughs> this has <laughs> been hysterical to watch. Keep up the clever commentary and awesome gameplay. Um, Thank you very much. Uh, we have a $357 donation from Midoriki that says donating for 357 Tropius, the best flying banana tree dinosaur ever. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Henhoken donates $25 uh, that says Heho <laughs> from Germany here. A lot of jinx in this run. Can I hear it? Cry, please. <laughs> that's well, what I want to do this one first. <laughs> uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> I can do it. Chats, the keys are on for this one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we we've got about oh. like 15 minutes left of this run as a heads up. Uh, oh no, we have to make sure we make it happen. Donation chain, please, 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 please. I would really be happy, and the runner would be happy, and the commentators would be happy too. <laughs> I would cry. Just a general <laughs> lots of happiness. Yeah. <laughs> Is it okay for me to keep reading there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, uh, if you want to keep going throughout Victory Road, we're only bopping okay. nothing trainers. We have a $258 donation from Coding Wizard that says, for my first partner in Pokemon. Mudkip. Aw, that's so cute. Mm. <laughs> and 
And then uh, Pokemon uh, trainer Christine donates $20 that says, Christine, use donate. It's super effective. Pokemon speedruns are my favorite during every GDQ, so I just had to donate to make sure we get to beat Steven. <laughs> Uh, Mind of Damon donates $25 that says, Yo, Let's go, memes. I'm ready to see some crispy execution and clean gym battles, and I hope you pick up the god item that starts with a P. I I'm trust sorry. that you know which one I mean. You got this and deserve it, man. Thanks so much for all you do for this game and community. Aww. No person berry, unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe him and the protein. He means person berry. No, he means person berry. Yeah, I know exactly what he means. I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint on every one of them, Damon. Nice. Uh, Damon's a great runner as well. Uh, also a recent runner, about the same time that Kurt started running. Yep. Uh, he's uh, advanced really well in this game as well. It's really nice we to see. We had a bit of a rivalry. <laughs> yeah, you guys are yeah. very close on the leaderboard still, aren't you? Yeah. Shout out to him. He deserves it. He's a great runner. We love them. Yes. It's probably a good time, actually, just to mention, while we're just destroying nothing Pokemon, um, just a shout out to the Gen 1 to 3 PSR community in general. Uh, it's always a blast just being, I've been, been a part of the community for like seven or eight years now. And it's just nice the the people that I've met, the uh, experiences I've had, the competition, it's all been great. Um, if you're interested out there in learning Pokemon speedruns, I'd really recommend joining that Discord server. Absolutely. Uh, there's loads of people in there that are super happy to help. Just going to interrupt what I was saying to get past that spinner. That was not <laughs> nice. easy, yes? It, it's not really easy. Nice. This guy is just good uh, at video games, what can I say? So, so that was a, the last spinner we have to pass in the run and we have to do it in the dark. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in running any games, join that server. If you're interested in running Emerald, feel free to drop me a PM, drop Shiru or Kurt. I think they're both quite welcome to answer questions as well. Yeah, we it have pretty detailed uh, guides and resources for this game for, for new a, people. There's a really good beginner guide that Kurt actually wrote up. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was based on notes by a runner called Mitsune, and then Kurt updated it for a modern, the modern route. So yeah. mm -hmm. you can definitely check those out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Better than Hides, we actually have people who are willing to help. We have a community that's very, very willing to help newcomers. It's not, you know, some people like to troll, not really. We, I mean, some people do like to troll, but it's in a good way. We don't really want to hurt you, we just want to help you to gain the speed runs. <laughs> well, you're least... making this sound so bad. We don't want Listen, to hurt you. I tried to fix it. <laughs> we promise. Well, I'm kind of evil. <laughs> It's okay. Um, I mean, it's to be evil, but that's it. Everybody else is good. Yeah, I suck, so don't listen to me. Uh, right. Yeah, we're going Elite into... Four. Eight of those. So that's actually not super required for the run. This is in case we do Steven <laughs> after the run. Remind you, you've got like 10 or 15 minutes. Get those going. Yes. And we, in a run, we would typically donate... Uh, uh, donate? typically deposit every one of our other Pokemon other than Rayquaza here because uh, if you have a full party Pokemon every one of them gets a cutscene in the Hall of Fame and our time ends after the Hall of Fame fades out um, in this run I'm going to keep hold of Swampert just in case there's not much that can go wrong but just in case so okay. Sydney is free he is. so free Yep, no Especially setup even required on this guy. Uh, we just one-shot everything. Yeah, our stats are really good for this fight. And Amoeba said that the best music in the game is Maxi slash Archie. I disagree very kindly. This is the best music in the game. I, th I think in terms of the track, the, the Maxi Archie one's better. But it's nice to hear this if you're in a run. What about another you've counterpoint and say champion? Steven slash Wallace music it's is okay. the best. Guys, it's fine. It's fine to be wrong. It's, it's, it really is fine. I thought you were going to go with it's a fine to disagree angle there. No, it's fine to be wrong. <laughs> hey, why do they ever invite you here? We just hit 30,000. So far, we're getting closer and closer. Let's make this happen, please. Good push. <laughs> wow, push, push. actually amazing. I mean, 30,000 is incredible already. But... Yeah, well, just imagine 50,000, the dream. <laughs> the dream. So yeah, Sydney, very, very free. 
Uh, Phoebe, pretty much free. Although, the first turn control, we have the second to last Pokemon in the run that has Protect. And Double Protect is kind of annoying. Um, the Dusclops has pressure, and if it Double Protects, we'll have to use Aerial Ace to kill it. And that uses up two Aerial Ace power points, which will mean we'll have to fly two Pokemon Champion. But that's the kind of margin for error we're dealing with in the Elite Four at this point. The only bad thing here is that we have to fly two Pokemon in Champion if it goes wrong. That's about it, yeah. Rayquaza is just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they gave you this before the Elite Four in this game, but yeah, I'm very thankful. What, why do you actually think they did this? Do you think they forgot? <laughs> There's I no think they, probably, way. they probably didn't expect you to, to go right there after, after the story ends. But yeah, maybe. Did you guys go for this as a child, as children? Don't remember. I think in a like a follow-up playthrough, maybe, but not my first one. Mm, yeah, probably yeah, same here. Because normally, if you get legendaries like this, it's they're at like level forty, and at least it's vaguely balanced. But yeah, seventy is just ridiculous. Also, with these stats, 150 attack and special attack. I mean, yeah, go ahead, eat the world alive. My attack stat is currently like 270, I think. It's ridiculous. <laughs> A little silly. But yeah, this fight is free. It's very simple. You just press the move and it, the, the Pokemon die. We're at 32k, apparently. Keep wow. it going, guys. Keep it up. We made, like, so much in, like, yeah. 10 minutes. It's actually yeah. accelerating. Ah, uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> you have got, there's three fights left of this run. You guys want to see the showdown scene. with Steven Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go get our revenge because he wasn't very good in the f uh, uh, One is extremely bulky. So we have to set up X attacks. Or only one, actually. But... This Celio can either use Hail or Ice Ball. Um, Ice Ball's faster. Could be able to sit through Hail text, but it's extremely rare. Thank you very much. I appreciate that Celio. And earlier we That's mentioned... Nice time uh, we mentioned abilities that cancel out weather effects. Uh, turns out Rayquaza has airlock, which uh, so if he did get hail there, he wouldn't be getting hit by it every turn. So uh, it actually doesn't lose as much time as it would for another Pokemon. Yep. Uh, also, we're still stat, ten seconds. Aren't... So normally you would use two X attacks in this fight, but our, our attack stat is so high that you can just go for one and fly the last Pokemon and one shot it. This Rayquaza is very good. You know, Rayquaza on its own is good. Just imagine this one. Yeah, the uh, the stats we have are ridiculously good because we did manipulate them as part of catching it with the Pokemon. So missing a fly here would be disastrous because I'm fairly certain that I will die to Ice Beam. Uh, it's not disastrous. I never revived, but it would suck. Shout out to Wave Warrior, who is a very talented runner who lost a very good PB to missing this fly, which is unfortunate. Second place. We can never escape the 5% mischance. Yeah, we see it in Tackle, Mud Shot, Fly. You name it. Drake, also pretty free. However, the lead Shellcon has Rock Tomb, which it can randomly use rather than protect. Not the end of the world if we get one, because I can X speed. I have a spare X speed in the back, and I can use that to account for the drop. If we get two, and he hits both of them, that becomes an issue. Yes. Quite unlikely. You're not likely to see Rockton here. You're way more likely to see Protect. We're at 35,000 now. Wow. We're getting closer. We're getting closer, please. You've only got... Uh, you've got five minutes, maybe. Five yeah. minutes! Oh, my <laughs> goodness, if, if that. Please. Please. There is, oh, we got double Protect, but it failed, thankfully. So the rest of this fight's free now. Do you want to do a donation or two? Because we are literally sure. just going to press buttons and win. Brony Cat uh, donates $50 that says, Must beat Stevie. Yes. <laughs> Mar uh, Marp also donates $50 that says, Maybe we can get a $50 train going for Stevie. 
$50 from Saltas that says, did I hear $5 Steve A train? Did I do it right? <laughs> you did it right. <laughs> nice. There's a weird bit of like here. Shouts to the Japanese runners who refer to this as garbage salamence like. We actually have to wait before we go into the fight menu there. Mm-hmm. All right, inching ever so closer into the Donation train, oh man. Yeah, we have one more fight. It's gonna Get take about three board. minutes. Get on board, you got this. What a simple deed. It's quite deed, but you will, you will remember for this one. One more fight. How much damage do I take on this? Oh, I have to heal, okay. That's okay. Yeah. You need to save anyway. Yes. So, champion fight is the only fight that Rayquaza can really die to, other than getting ridiculously trolled on Juan. Um, the lead Pokemon is a Whalmer, Whale Lord, even. And it has a uh, Blizzard. Quad effective. It won't kill us, but it will do a lot of damage. Crit kills us, freeze is really, really bad. Although I have full restores, not in the world. You truly become a Pokemon Emerald Runner when you lose a run to this fight. Yep. Mackwing lost one to this recently. I've Very never sad. lost a fight to this fight. I you're not an Emerald fight. Runner, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Not... You've, just been, you've just been demoted, I'm third place now, let's go. <laughs> wow, I'm so sorry, everybody. Two minutes left. Well, probably three by the time we do the cutscene. I'm presuming I don't die. All right, Blizz <laughs> misses a Blizz here. Hopefully we do get that. Please miss with Blizzard. He can use Brain Dance too, which is fine. Yeah, kind of slow, but it's very safe. Come on, let's get it. Blizz miss. The blizzard, um, there's the head, unfortunately. No crit, no freeze. Okay. All right. How much do I take from Hyper Beam? 58 to 69. I guess I shouldn't risk this up. Okay. 40,000. Oh, nice. 10 more to go. Let's Ten make it more. happen. Wow, this would yeah. be pretty epic. Somebody activate the Yeti <laughs> calling signal. So, as soon as our Rayquaza is so good, we don't have to fly any of these Pokemon, we can just aerial ace our way through. Unfortunately, there is a Gyarados in the middle of this fight that has Intimidate. And Hyper Beam. And Hyper Beam. It also has Surf, which it seems to use sometimes, if it doesn't think Hyper Beam will kill. Don't really know why. I don't think it has anything else that's any good. Do you have to heal because Hyper Beam's very likely to kill us? 41,000 now, almost 42,000. That's great, that's a great miss. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but hey, it's faster. <laughs> we'll take it. And then that's it, we win. Yay. We've got a minute. <laughs> you yeah, guys have got a minute. One minute, guys, come Please, on. You we're can... 43. It's still going, it's still going. Oh my goodness, I've never felt so nervous. Yeah, I'm racing versus 60,000 Twitch users. Who's going to win this race? <laughs> I, I am betting on the Twitch viewers. Slow down your mashing. 45, and be 45. <laughs> I'll, just my yeah, I'll take my time, don't worry. 45, we're almost there. I know you can do it, chat. You haven't missed a donation incentive yet. You're not going to break my heart like this, are you? Oh, wow, it just jumped a 1,000. Nice. I mean, you should Amiibo. just read Great the run. text boxes. Thank you very much to you guys for coming to commentate. I appreciate it very much. Thank you much. for having us. And, you yeah, know, absolutely. Thank you to Games Make sure everybody in, everybody in chat gives Kurt and Shiro a follow. Feel free to follow me as well. I'm determined to get this record at some point. I've been trying for so long. <laughs> yeah, 47. He really has. 47. Oh, it's oh so my close. Goodness, it's getting close. So, time will end on Fade Out at, on the Hall of Fame. I will say time when it comes up. I may mash a little bit slowly, just to give these guys a chance. 48, 48, ah! Uh, we're so close, guys! I know you can do <laughs> just like it! 49, 20 seconds. 49, oh, 49! Is it happening? Oh my no way. God, it's oh so my gosh. close. <laughs> That'd be insane. 50, 50, we did oh, it! We got it, we did it! Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> With 10 wow, seconds to spare, insane. time is about to be done. Oh well goodness. done, GG's, I'll take that Thank out. you guys so, so much. <laughs> I lost that race. <laughs>
<laughs> we take a defeat, oh, yeah. honestly. Let's... Wait. What happened? Right, so time's coming up. It's time now. So, we won't delay and sit through the cuts, the credits, as nice as that would be. It gave us a safety save right before, so let's get straight back in. We've got Stephen Jobs to defeat. Stephen, quote unquote, keys are on Jobs. That's right. Steve Jobs. <laughs> now we say so, hi to our dad. Yeah. Funnily enough, dad calls mum, mum. Apparently mum did not deserve a real name. Wow. Yeah, it's a little bit dark, I'll be honest. Mom, thanks and, for looking after the house. He kind of <laughs> looks like he's evil. What, uh, are we getting Latias or Latios? Which one do we prefer? Edo, do you want to choose? Oh, which one is the... Oh, wait, I don't know. They're both cute. Which one? <laughs> well, red or blue. Uh, we'll do blue, yeah. blue, blue. It makes no difference. We're not going to go get it. <laughs> it's just for the text. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, I'm glad you yeah. beat it. So, you trolled me. <laughs> we are going to go bop Steven. Steven is the most powerful trainer in this game by a long way. Uh, it's an optional post game fight. We could go in with Rayquaza, and Rayquaza, it would require a bit of setup, but Rayquaza would stomp. Um, that feels a bit cheap. I feel like we used and abused our Swampert, a little mudkip that took us through three quarters of the game, and then we just turned it into an HM friend at the end, and we didn't really give it its moment in the limelight. Rayquaza came in right at the end and just stole all of the glory. And so we're gonna go beat Steven with Swampert, because I think that's the fitting end to his story. But how is that possible? Swampert's <laughs> only level 45 and Steven's Pokemon are all like level 78. Yep. We're gonna need to do Howdy. some work to get, to, we're gonna have to do like a, a Rocky style montage of getting Swampert into shape for this. Wowie. So, let's play the flute. <laughs> We've come here to Slateport. It's for two things. I would like some calciums. This will boost Swampert's special attack. And then Breathe. I'm going to take a small detour to go and get a rare candy that we didn't the pick one up in the main candy. Line. Guys, don't give your Pokemon performance enhancing drugs at home. Yeah, we yeah, are trained professionals. Do <laughs> please do not recreate this at home. No, we're not. We're insane. Yeah, true. You're insane. I'm just stupid. Wow. <laughs> so that's the first rare candy. I actually need two, but we also need some other help for our Swampert. We're going to nip to Falabor. Falaba. Is it Falabor or Falaba? What do you prefer? Falabor? Nah, I have no idea. A load of X special. This is not an item we've used yet, and we may not end up... We're gonna get it just in case. I am scared about to this. To go beat Steva. No, we're not. More detail. Did you know there's a waterfall here, and did you know there's a red candy at the top of it? Yeah, sure. My street, my internet's dying. I think it's my on my end, Mike. Just want to let everyone know we're having a little bit of technical difficulties, but we will try to get it fixed right away. Stay, please stay, stay tuned. <laughs> So we're still fixing uh, at the moment. Uh, so we have a little tiny break. Got to prepare for Steve, okay? So let's read some donations since there are a million of them. 
uh, $25 donation from Fabulous Scene that says, always excited to see some Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> We have a $25 donation from Haunt You Forever that says, had to donate during my favorite Pokemon game. I started with Sapphire, but Emerald is my favorite. Here's to having the worst possible luck on the rest of the run. Huh, speaking of that. <laughs> uh, all right, and I think we are ready to beat Steve. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Very sorry about that. So worst possible luck apparently translates to IRL luck my internet decided to uh, have a sleep. If you missed it, all we've done is pick up a rare candy, and now we are on our way to Meteor Falls. Just a nice little uh, bonus run the bike there. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird one to do. So, I have intentionally not repelled again. Hello, hello again, chat. I do want to get one more level on this one, but because there's kind of no point rare handing this when uh, I'm this close to the level up. So this is an intentional little side step. So now we get to use all of the performance enhancing drugs that we bought. And there is a very specific reason why I've bought four calciums, um, and I will explain why once we get to the fight. This fight is not free for, a, multi for a, a few reasons. One of them is that our Swamp is level 48. Um, but the actual reason. specific strat we're going to use is uh, a little bit less free. I need to repel. There we go. So this is an area of the game that we don't normally get to see. Um, it's effectively post-game because of the wa uh, waterfall. Well, I suppose you could come here and do this after Juan if you wanted. Yeah, but Steven wouldn't be here until after you you beat the Elite Four. Yes. This room is a nightmare to Mike bike through. Close. Look at that rock. That's terrible. Wow, <laughs> I hate that that one rock. We're here already, what? <laughs> yep, this is Steven. You might be wondering why this is going to take 10 minutes. This fight's going to take a while. So... We need to set up 2x speeds, because all of Steven's Pokémon are either rock or metal, uh, steel type, sorry. So that we can outspeed them pretty well, but we do need 2x speeds. Um, and we need all six, we need all six special boosts that we can get from X specials. And we also want Torrent to help put as much damage as possible. Uh, this Skarmory three shots us with the Aerial Ace, so that's 2x speeds. And it also has Torrent, uh, Torrent Toxic. So we are going to be doing a lot of healing here. Because we're going to have to heal after two aerial aces. If I get aerial ace into toxic, I get a free turn. It also has spikes, which we'll use at some point, hopefully. And that will give us a free turn as well. But it's it going to take a little bit to set up. Toxic. Toxic can also miss, although it kind of doesn't matter. So I get another set up turn now because it toxic. Hello, cute chat. There's the spikes. I do have to heal here because I'm dead on the next turn. If you heal only aerial ace here. So that spikes was actually not useful. But Very any nice. time it's never not been useful. Do you remember how many specials I've used yet? Because I don't. It's two, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully I buy 11, so I know exactly how many it is. Um, this setup's kind of a nightmare because if he crits us with Aerial Ace on the second turn at any point, we're dead and we have to try again. It's quite annoying. But it's worth it. It's worth it to get Swampert's last moment in the light and light. I agree. He deserves the best. I'm really uh, happy that you guys managed to raise, what was it, like 30,000 in the last 10 minutes? That's yeah, insane. that was absolutely crazy. I've never seen anything like that. Thank you, you guys so much. Crazy. That's some GDQ energy there. Yeah. Right, give yourselves a pat on the back. You did well. Uh, this is the last one. Hopefully he's going to not correct me here, because that would really suck. Thank you. I survived that, but I... I have to full restore because he's going to murder me on this turn. So this is the reason why I bought the die here. I don't actually need it necessarily. It's just oh, that in it. this situation, I might uh, have a turn to burn because I'm ready to go, but I need torrent. So I want him to not mean to torrent. It's toxic. 
nasty, toxic. Also, the reason we bought antidote somewhere. There they are. Because I might want the low health, but not the toxic. Please knock me into torrent. It's not torrent. Come on, dude, mm. get it together. <laughs> That's really bad. You also oh, didn't have uh, a super potion for this to set up your HP. That's a shame. Yeah. Uh, I might as well use a speed. I need to stall the turn. There we go. That should be torrent. Easy money. Right. Nice. So the reason why I had to buy four calciums is because there's a Cray Dilly in this fight. If I don't use any calciums, I do not kill it, even with all this setup. And plus six special attack and torrent, it still survives. Do you like speed everything we have in X speed? I use two X speed. Actually, you end up using three, but I only need two. Okay. Um, but yeah, that was the first thing I used. So, with four calciums, this is a 50 50 range. And if wow. I miss it, I die. Okay. Um, we might have to be. <laughs> you also can might crit have to... because of the dire yeah. hit. Well, that's What's why we use the dire hit. Please. Yes. Oh, yes. And the dire hit was worth it. Very cool. Um, we would have to bring in Big Brother Rayquaza at that point. If uh, if we did die, but now Steven is free. Goodbye, Stevie. Goodbye, everything. Everybody's dead. We're just quitting everything. And thank you very much to GDQ and everybody that's watched this run. It has been an absolute pleasure. Um, I'm quite happy with the run. We got mullered by Norman, unfortunately. But otherwise, quite happy with how it went. I'm really happy that we, <laughs> you guys managed to raise a nutty amount of money right at the end to hit this incentive. Uh, thank you, Kurt and Shiro again, and Edo, for the excellent Pikachu impression. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, dude. GG's on a great run. GG, that was really good. Thank very you. well executed. Thank Not a single you. optional, and very good Viking. Yeah, no Nerves optionals of very steel. Nice. Shout outs so, to this man. Please follow my commentators, please follow me. I am going to be pushing for this record still over the next couple of months. Goodbye, Stevie. And I think we can hand over to the GDQ staff unless you guys have got anything else to say. Nope. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Watch thank you very much. of Pokemon. Watch them alive. They are great. Yes. And feel free to give any of us a shout if you want to learn anything. That was so amazing. Thank you so much, chat, and everyone watching that made that incentive happen. It is so amazing to see that. I got to read a... There's so many donations. We have a $39 donation from Putin that says, donating for my favorite Pokemon, uh, 39 Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. We also have a $50 donation from Alexander that says, great ra, uh, very entertaining. Shout outs to the best early route normal type, Zigzagoon. <laughs> we also have a $20 donation from Dr. Zo. PhD that says, I just wanted to hear the cry of my new favorite mythical Pokemon, Edo Bay. Hey. <laughs> and with that, um, we're just gonna take a slight break. Do not walk away. We will be right back.
Welcome back, everyone, to Summer Games Done Quick 2021 online, powered by Twitch. I am Edo Be now. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and read a, a quick donation. $380 from Nature Drag that says, as is tradition with Pokemon games, and especially since we're in Hoenn, here's $380 for my favorite legendary in Latias. All the best to the runner, and thanks to everyone at GDQ for raising money for an amazing cause. And now... We're gonna go ahead and talk about our amazing sponsor. MWM Interactive, publisher of beautiful and inventive games from incredible indie devs around the world presents Stonefly, glide your mech through th tree canopies, marshes, and prickly briars in the stunning of action adventure RPG from award-winning Flight School Studio, creators of Creature in the Well. Go on missions and patrols in this world's undiscovered naturescapes. Take on a variety of bugs out in the wild, harvest minerals, and craft upgrades to your mech. Stun them, shoo them, get the loot. All set to an original soundtrack from Berlin-based experimental electronic artist Nature Boy Flaco. Stonefly is available now on PC and consoles, and currently it is 20% off on Steam. Check out the game at stoneflygame.com. Once again, stoneflygame.com. All right, guys, I'm gonna read just a few quick donations. Uh, we had a <laughs> we had a hundred dollar donation from silly person that said donating for my favorite GDQ host ever, Edel Bean. She also happens to be do one of the best young link impressions I've ever heard. Thank you so much. And 155 dollars from Anonymous that says 155 for one of my favorite Pokemon, Cyndaquil. And let's get that Steven fight. And we did, and I'm really thankful. And uh, that is gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you so much, and thank you to GDQ for having me uh, be host again. It's been a fantastic time, but do not forget, we still got a whole day to go. So keep in sending those donations, keep in going for it, making those incentives happen. And I'm gonna, you guys, we're gonna have Yo BGS after to host, and you do not wanna miss Yo BGS. So now we're gonna go to our interview with Kung Fu and Fur. Take it away. Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick Online 2021. I'm Kung Fu Fur Cup and I am joined by the awesome Fur who is getting ready to do his Bowser's Fury Run. How's it going, Fur? Hey, I, I, I'm good, how are you doing? I'm good, you know, it's been a good week. I mean, it's been a good week so far. I'm sure it'll be <laughs> great for the rest of it as well. Um, so Bowser's Fury is, for those who don't know, kind of like a, a DLC sort of thing to um, the uh, Mario 3D World that was released for the Switch. Uh, that was It was like a re-release. Um, yeah. But with the DLC, which was super fun in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. Now, you're doing an any percent no Amiibo run. So yes. the Amiibo, I know, affects certain runs in certain ways and communities mm -hmm. have to like figure out how that how that affects it um in this case like what would amiibo do versus no amiibo okay so the big thing with amiibo in uh, bowser's fury is that the game's pretty like cycle based like to beat the run you have to go through essentially five different cycles and right. you can only beat it after like going through those cycles and using amiibo specifically the bowser amiibo you can sort of throw that out the window and trigger the um, cycles whenever you want, and it changes the run, like, a ton. So instead of it being a run where you have to go through, like, five cycles and get 50 shines total, um, because of some shenanigans, you can do it in 40 shines, 
and you trigger the Bowser amiibo literally every time you click to shine. So it's oh. very they're very different runs. Like yeah. the amiibo version's a lot faster. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, like, how much time do you, does that save one category um, to the other? I think the amiibo world record's like ten minutes faster right now. I think it's an eighteen Hello. minute run about. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, that's like pretty significant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for I, sure. Um, so you were saying something about the cycles in it, and he, like there are five main cycles, but I know, mm -hmm. I mean, as a casual player, if you take too long, he just keeps yeah. going back and forth like Bowser does. But um, how do you have to like what's the main thing that you need to make sure that you do besides going fast? Mm -hmm. Uh <laughs> to, like keep up with these cycles or make sure that you're sticking with the right timing. So basically, um, with those cycles, each time the cycle starts, that sort of is what the game needs to let you fight Bowser. And like the amount of times you fight Bowser, that's basically how the game tracks your progress and like how you unlock areas and stuff like that. So our goal as a speedrunner is basically going to be get as many shines as possible before the cycle starts so we can meet the threshold required to actually do the fight. And then hopefully some shines on top of that, because like the more shines we can collect, essentially, like this is putting it in simple terms, or like the faster we collect those shines, the faster those cycles can end up being. So it's not just like, oh, we have to wait through five cycles and the whole runs an auto scroller. Um, the faster we're able to collect these shines, the run will actually go a little bit faster. That makes sense. That makes sense. And so with the actual play style itself, like what Mario game would you say this feels the closest to? Because I know it's like 3D World DLC in a way, but mm -hmm. like for me, it, it almost feels like kind of sunshine-esque or, you know, like there's, there's different yeah. elements about it that give it kind of like a mixed feel. What do you think about that? Um... To to me, and this is going to be pretty reflective of my experience with 3D Mario's. It sort of feels like a bit of a bit of 3D World, which I actually hadn't played until this game came out. It's a great game. I've started speedrunning it. Ton of fun. Um, yeah. But it also feels like it has a little bit of Odyssey in it because you have that open world sort of aspect going on. But the way the characters move and the abilities you get and stuff like that, and even the like little things i guess they'll put in the environment um those feel like very 3d world yeah yes yeah no i completely agree honestly i think it's like it's definitely a, a combo of that i got a lot of people saying like oh yeah it feels like odyssey when they were coming in so yeah i think it was like the beach you feel at first that reminded me of something <laughs> anyway i agree with your statement <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, and now and with like the run itself would you say like have you been able to add some development yourself like what's kind of the work that's gone into it um oh, there, there's been a ton of work from a ton of different people like the main thing at first um i didn't really play much of a role in this but um uh, figuring out how those cycles worked mm -hmm. and sort of figuring out how to like break them so that speedrunners didn't have to like wait at the end of runs because at first people didn't really know how they worked so like old world records you'd be like waiting for a minute at that like final cycle for it to start so you could fight bowser and that obviously wasn't good so eventually there was a glitch that um if i remember right value found and um yeah, it sort of <laughs> yeah <laughs> it, it, it lets you re you can like reload the game and it'll like make the game use a different timer for the cycles and it just sped everything up and as people oh. dived more and more into that and figured out how it worked the like speed run changed a lot and developed a lot and it's become for something pretty cool, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we're about to be able to see it. So and I'm sure yeah. you've just had like a ton of fun keeping up with that and and staying on top of it. Oh, really excited to see it. Yeah. So actually, this is coming up next right after this. So everybody, please stick around. Watch the Bowser's Fury run here with Fur. Fur, thank you so much for speaking with me today. Hey, no problem. Yeah, so great. I'm really excited <laughs> for your run gonna be awesome thank you very much and uh we'll see the run in just a, in just a sec
Welcome back, everyone, to Summer Games Done Quick 2021 online, powered by Twitch, where we're going fast and raising money for doctors without borders. I'm Yo BGS. I will be your host for the next few runs, and I'm told we are almost set up for the Bowser's Fury run, but there's been such incredible generosity coming in. I wanted to get to some of your donations.